when we last left our heroes, you guys had um, uh, gone, delivered the, um, you rescued and delivered the Osprey Club members that you had found here within the um, servants' quarters underneath the Gauntlet Ruins. And uh, when you did, Yin Yasmera had uh, informed you that there was a, um, that there was a man telling stories at another bar. Oh, you stink. Why do you stink? I'm sorry, I didn't get a chance to shower before the game. I thought the internet would be protected. Oh, my dog. Against that. Okay, so you guys went over to the Rowdy Rockfish and you heard um, uh, some tales coming from um, it, one Monsieur Franz Frangelico who had evidently gone out on one of the missions that you guys were supposed to go on and found someone there that was dead. You went to check it out. Um, slab, one of these slabs on Slab Hill had broken open and there was a cairn inside. And you guys ended up fighting some undead in there and rescuing the person that Franz Frangelico had said was dead. And then you brought him back to town, reunited him with his brother. And his brother was extremely thankful and offered to give you um, 15 gold pieces or 12 gold pieces or silver pieces that he had and you turned them down because you're heroes. Great. Um, you are you are... sure you're talking about the right group? <laughs> are you sure you're not talking <laughs> about your other group? Ranking. I don't recall doing that, but it's believable, <laughs> I guess. So uh, you guys are back in town now. And uh, what, what, what did you guys want to do? So not to um, meta it, but there's a part of me that is thinking without our illustrious healer here, we might be served to not push any big plot buttons and head back up to the vaults. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, I am, I have permission to run her and she will be rejoining us uh, in about 45 minutes. So it's not that big of a deal, but everybody give yourself a hero point. <laughs> And click the um, rest for the night button. All right. Hero point. Rest for the night. Can I assume I've been healed? Uh, yes, I am okay with that. Okay. Probably spent time in the room, just room, just treating, having a treat party, a treat circle. Yes. And I'm going to. Manual. I can't. I can't take control of her, which is weird. Is it because she's a sign? Your wife's her own person. You can't control what? her. Uh, that's oh, true. You need a Mass Effect <laughs> to your wife. <laughs> <laughs> let actually let me configure ownership on her again, and then I'm gonna assuming direct control. We are <laughs> assuming control. We are assuming control. Uh, Has Odd Story Shop always been in town? I yes. Don't remember? Yeah, so, uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's right there next to where you guys are. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, you guys could go over and say hi to those guys. If you remember um, the last interaction you had with them, um, you. Uh, I, I don't remember. About it's been a long time. Yeah. I don't remember ever interacting with these people. Yeah. I believe I asked them about the worm, right? Yes, I believe that you did. Yeah. And you have moral bent, moral bent, and who? Uh, Carl. Carl moral bent. Yes. Here, I've I'm... never seen these people before in my life. Yes, you have. I'm going to show them to you. Now. <laughs> uh, I'm looking at their pictures. I do this all the time. Don't worry. Memory. Yeah, here we go. I'm bringing you in. This is their store. And you guys have been here. Um, and um, although Carl's hiding behind a bookcase right now, so we'll bring him out. Um, <clears throat> so just so you know, um, um, James Morlebent, 
Uh, he's the one that wrote the play that happened at the Founders Festival. He also um, is a wizard, but his husband, Carl, um, actually looks a lot more like a wizard than he does and actually kind of goes into the whole aesthetic. Carl is currently fixated on coffee, which he can, he's trying to promote a coffee shop here in the, in the Otari area. Um, James is, um, is actually goes most of the time by their last name. So he goes by Morlebent. So it's Morlebent and Carl, not James and Carl. Um, but they have a great, uh, they have a great bookstore. Um, there are a lot of hard to find books here. This bookstore has some spell books and things like that in here. If you guys were to retrain spells, you would probably talk to Morlebent. He's arcane, right? Yes. So anyway, this is Odd Stories. Um, and if you ever need books, this is probably the place to come. It's cute. I like the shop. Yes, it is a great yeah. shop. And there's more to it. Um, there's a, um, I'm going to open the door here. There's like a tower out in the back that goes up to th three stories. Um, and I think you've gone in there before, but I think I was using a different map when I brought you in here at the time. This I have is, no uh, memory of, of this place or these people. Yeah. <laughs> I remember you were excited was... about getting the stairs working. Yeah. Because it was a... were your party members. <laughs> there, there, the other one I had I... had stairs in the middle. And yeah. uh, I was using an automated thing that allowed you to go up and down the stairs. Huh. Anyway. So this is their joint. Yeah, welcome to my life. I don't remember any of these humanoids in this place. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't make me laugh. <laughs> one, you're There's in the one. wrong game, honey. <laughs> uh, I feel like you're going to hear me cough like a duck tonight, then. Oh, no. <clears throat> None of these oh. people are the cute gnome with the albatross. I don't know. <laughs> they are not. <laughs> they are not the cute gnome. Bad. Uh, do we have hey, a, what are they? Yeah, go on. I want to show you a book, and uh, Trick shows them his granddad's hunting beastery that's full of bad information. And uh, so Morlebent is kind of <laughs> fascinated. He he kind of he goes, Carl, Carl, look at this, and he calls Carl over, and they both like sit there and look over your book, and and they're just wide eyed. And uh, mm. hold on, just one second. Let me let me try something real quick and uh and and carl like looks over and uh points at something and then all he does is look at morla bent and Morlebent kind of nods and they keep turning the pages and Carl keeps pointing at things and Morlebent just <laughs> nods. <laughs> They're like, this and is, this is truly impressive. <laughs> and about the middle of the book, there's like a centerfold, like from a nudie magazine. It's like five or six pages. <laughs> it is the bear article. <laughs> when they get to it, they, they're kind of a gog. Uh, and they turn the pages really slowly <laughs> and they're just checking everything out. Sadie, you need to lay down. You need to lay down. You just went outside, lay down. She is very sad. She wants to lay down with mommy and she can't. I miss Sadie. I know you do. Um, okay. So, um, what do you guys want to do today? Well, I guess while we're in the shop, I'll just be browsing the shelves for anything that catches my eye. Uh, anything on the occult, things that might sound out there from the gauntlet, or if I can actually come up, find some occult spell books in here, I probably won't in their shop, but I'll browse. You know, my interest areas are weird uh, crap, fates, and the occult. I'll just do a shelf walk. Um, I will do the same, but looking for druidic things that I love. 
So a, a lot of what you see here is are stories of adventure, mystery, and magic. There are some smaller nonfiction and academia things. Uh, there are chairs placed around the room. Um, the little area to the to the north that I opened, so you guys could see through there. This is like a private reading area, uh, but the but the curtain is cracked a little bit. You can kind of see in there. Um, but uh, but for the most part, uh, like I said, you guys have been in here before. There's nothing that that is seems too out of place. You do find some esoteric things. Um, uh, there are some books, uh, um, uh, over here in this case, um, Morlebent has some books. He's especially interested in local maps and history, and he's got some of his favorite books over here in this case, um, that, that he obviously lets people look at, but not touch. I think it'd be worth Man, telling. Man, I wish I had guys. the hotel tent time. You had the wish. I think you had it'd the be work. worth telling. I miss. I miss Spencer's joke. I said, "Man, I wish I had that prehensile tongue." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be worth telling these guys the uh, the portraits we saw, and maybe the the trap cities. Yeah, or all the different disasters. Yeah, I'm curious. I'm, I'm still curious. Well, <laughs> that's a better note. Do we recall with player knowledge what the different disasters were? Uh, yeah, yeah, they were they were pretty dramatic and clear. Um, I remember a flood. There was a flood. Yeah, there was. Yeah, <clears throat> I think there's probably a fire. I think one was an army of undead. Right? I will go ahead and read them out to you. Oh, um, I love reading. There was uh, five dioramas, uh, a massive fire, a devastating tsunami, a thunderous earthquake, an attack by an enormous tentacled monster, and an invasion of an army of undead. So yeah, let's relay that and see if they know, because I'm not confident. Do we know if these things have actually happened in the ancient past or if they were prophecies? Uh, of of desired events like boy it'd be really cool if i could make this happen um let's uh, i'll tell you what uh more been interested in this and he walks over and he like flips out flips a sign over it says like back in 10 minutes you know he says let's let's go in the back room and sit down and so he and carl um go back to um like the base of their tower and they have a big table here and there's more than four chairs um, you guys are welcome to sit down. This is where they eat and they'll invite people over to have dinner and stuff like that. Um, uh, so, um, hold on, let me get, uh, let me pull Wendy in here. Beep, 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 beep. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Dupiri just looks dreadfully bored to be around all the books. Yeah, believe me. I... <laughs> Um, they, so they sit down with you and you start talking to them about all these things. They're kind of fascinated. And they said, well, it's, it's, um, it's kind of hard to describe. She goes, he goes, but, um, there are, um, there were the stories of Belcora that we got from, um, the, the Rose Guard were that she was going to attempt to destroy Absalom. That was her fixation. Uh, evidently, her family, the Haruvexes, had been uh, cast out. And her desire and, and a lot of their wealth was based in Absalom. And so her family lost a lot of their wealth when they were removed. Um, uh, when I have been to Absalom and done some studying there on Otari... The records there show that the Horovex family uh, were cultists of some kind, uh, but the documentation was not solid. He says, um, Belcora evidently wanted to destroy Absalom and actually succeeded in having a couple of uh, excursions sent to um, uh, the west area of, of uh, Absalom. 
And uh, so that's how the Rose Guard found out uh, about Belcora's fixation on the city is that there were some creatures that walked from Otari all the way to Absalom on her direction and attacked. And they followed the trail back to the road that led up to the ruins at the, at the gauntlet. And it was her plan to use the gauntlet to attack um, Absalom. What the gauntlet does, nobody ever learned. So it looks like it might do these five things. Doesn't that sound right? Mm -hmm. I just listened quietly. I, is there any? So you have all these old historical maps. Is there any map of the of this area when the gauntlet might have been new and? just built that might reflect ruins or other things around it that we don't know about yet. He says, well, you know, the, the gauntlet went up 500 years ago. And while this area was suitably advanced back then, um, there wasn't a whole lot of bookkeeping going on. Um, this area was largely untapped. There were some, um, there were some, dwellings in the ground that got explored uh he says i've got some old maps of of holes that were dug in the ground for various purposes um but we don't really have a map of the area unless there was some point of interest there and before the gauntlet atari was not here there was no settlement here before the rose guard defeated belcora and just to clarify that I heard this correctly, you're stating that the gauntlet can create all these natural disasters? He goes, oh, I have no idea. He has, I have no idea. He goes, you are telling me you saw these dioramas of the gauntlet he doing did. this thing. Yeah. So doesn't it seem logical, since we don't know what it does, that this is something, these are the things that it does. He goes... Now, when the when the gauntlet shone on the graveyard, the 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 undead came up, right? Right. So this this one right here, and and I'm you know when he's because he took notes when you guys were talking. He goes the one with the undead army. He goes that sounds like one of the powers, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Oh, I'm embarrassed I didn't put these we... two very uh, related facts together at first. <laughs> well, I didn't either. And now they're together, and I'm I'm a little frightened of this gauntlet and the power that it wields. We've got to figure out how to stop this. Especially since it's already hit Otari once, right? So yes. someone has no control. more. And I believe it did this, what, four days ago? Yeah. About four days ago is when, when the dead tide hit, I think. You spent one night underground and a couple of other nights above ground. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say yeah. it's been five days, five days. It feels like months ago. Well, that's because it was in real time. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, one other thing. I don't... Oh, one other thing. Trick wants to ask. Uh, so we found the grave, that evil room, you know, at the very beginning, and we think it was Minhim's. Uh... Yes. He goes. Yes. Uh, we, uh, I I believe um, uh, Vandy came and talked to me to see if I had any books about the Menhem's family history. Uh, in addition to the ones that uh, Osef had, uh, and I didn't. He goes, but it appears um, that we that the that we strongly believe that the grave that you guys found under the fishery belongs to Asafina Menhem's, uh, the huntress, one of the members of the Rose Guard. Yes. Yeah. 
Okay, nobody else has done anything with it. No, we've no, we, 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 uh, as a matter of fact, she had told, Vandy had told you she was going to get your attention when they went down and tried to deal with it. She thought uh -huh. that it was too powerful of a, of an energy source for you guys to handle on your own. And hmm. she wanted to bring in some of her, um, uh, fellow Saren Ray clerics over from Absalom to come and, uh, sanctify the grave. Mm. I don't give us an ETA of that. <laughs> uh, she she just sent a message over and has not heard back yet. Okay. Okay. Well, I think that's all the loose hanging threads that Trent could remember. Yeah, I don't know that we have much to. I mean, I am anxious to. If there's people in the well, uh, that always ends good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, especially if there's something we can talk to. We can't understand what the language was or what the voices were, but I'm curious about any sort of other intelligence in that place that we can find. I think we need to get back to exploring. Yes. Yeah. Because I'm very curious what is below. Especially where you know below the light cylinder where we think we where we saw the purple worm. Yeah, uh, I'm in full agreement. Um, Mordelin is fascinated when you guys start talking about this kind of stuff. He's like, "You saw a purple worm?" Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Mm -hmm. he, they're just they are just they are just stupefied. They're like, "That's incredible." He goes. I, I, I've I've never known anyone who's seen any of their remains other than the tunnels that they left behind. Do they know anything about them? Do they know anything like what would attract them? Do they Um he 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 walks out uh he walks out of the room and comes back with a book uh and he kind of flips it open and he goes, It seems here that um that that they're fairly common and that their tunnels are often used uh, by, by species in the under, in the uh, uh, dark lands. I keep trying to say under dark uh, in the dark lands to, um, um, to, to move from area to area. Evidently when the purple worm digs, it, di it digs some pretty solid like caves and that they're, they're, they're good for traveling from area to area. Yeah, so we saw no caves. This thing was just lying on the ground. He's like, baffling, baffling. Have we actually spent a full... We have spent a night in the tower. Before. Yes, you yeah. did. You spent the, the night... The room. Yeah. You, actually, you've spent two nights underground. Two nights, yeah. One night... Spent one. Go ahead. In the web lurker room with the with the right. model of Absalom in it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I'm ready for adventure. I okay. Am, uh, yeah, um, they're a very interesting couple, but I I don't think that our answers lie underground. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They ask you got uh, escort you guys back out to the front of the store. Um. And uh, it is it is uh, up to you guys what you want to do now. Oh, I want to go uh, collect my kitty. Slunkoff is going to delve with That's us this time. Okay. Are we at full health? Are we we're good? Yes. We slept? Yep. We're yep. At full health. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. I okay. will be directing Wes what to do today because I am... It's fine. Yeah. Well, well you, that sounds you like a lovely way to play. Wes, take over my character. I'll just tell you. What. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can you can control your character on your on your tablet or on your laptop. I know, but that requires me to get Otari and go to. The, uh, that's too many yeah. things right now. That's my <laughs> to just talk on the phone, watch you on Twitch, and go. Hey, I want you to do this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Help your sick wife play her game. Okay, so you guys are walking around the streets. Uh, anything you want to do before you leave to go back to the ruins? Uh, I need oh. to check my ammo. Yeah, I need to buy some more arrows. Uh, While the party is resupplying, sure. I'm going to just 
part perch in my usual spot at the ruins here. Okay. Uh, I just look at the water and look at the the ruins. I, I'm still drawn to this place a little bit. But I'm just going to hang out. I have no other prep to make. I don't want to spend my money right now. Yeah. So I'm just going to hang out here. Still. Okay. Um, give me a percep blind perception check. Ooh, who do you need that from? <clears throat> for, from, um, yeah, uh, from, from, uh, Zydeco. Um, okay. So you notice that some of the rubble has been moved around. Spicy. Uh, yeah, I immediately hop up and go down to where I see the, the rubble being disturbed. I start casting Detect Magic. Okay. Kind of kicking it around with my foot a little bit. You do not detect any magic. Okay. Get down on the ground and kind of just go through the rubble. Do I see any footprints or... Give me a like blind... Or... A blind survival check. You do not notice any footprints. I drop Scoot down and have Scoot start scouting the area with his little bright eyes and see if um, he, he notices anything. Um, he goes down into kind of the rubble, looking around, uh, and he comes back and he says, uh, rubble, 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 rubble. I... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, good, good boy, good boy. Um, I so I make a few little uh, around the area where I think something was disturbed. I just pick pieces of rubble and I make a few little short, me-sized towers, just things that might be obviously could be knocked over or whatever. Okay. Make a few little statue little arrangements of rubble here. Okay. Uh, as a maybe a cheap detection, it could just be a kid, but maybe. Okay. Um, and then go back to the uh, bluff near okay. the road and wait. Anyone else want to do anything right now? Um, I would like to buy some rounds for my uh, pistol. Okay. Um, and I don't remember how to do so. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm okay with you just looking it up and adding it to your inventory. But... Where do I look it up? Uh, but you can go into the Blades for Glades shop if you want. If you I did, they don't have the right ones. Which ones do you need? And I'll add them to it. Dueling pistol rounds. Okay. I'm adding dueling pistol rounds, and I'm adding lots of them. I think. Hold on. there so you, you may click on the if the little coins show up on the right or you can just drag it over i believe and it'll it'll buy it from the shop click on the coins drag it over okay there we go thank you you're welcome anyone else need to buy anything or do anything no, I think uh, I'm pretty good. Yep. Okay, excellent. Do you guys, you guys get back up to the ruins? Uh, are you going down the same way that you've gone down before? I believe so, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, well, here's that makes a, sense. Here's the question, though. Do we use this as an opportunity to go into the dragony hole? Uh, or do we just let that go? I'm kind of a part of me is inclined just to let it go. And something is living its best life there. And maybe we should just go back through and go to the well. Look at the dragon. We'd still should do it from the second floor. So. Okay. Yeah. So I guess the same way then. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and take you down to the entrance that you guys have been using on the the second floor of the gauntlet ruins 
And then oh, I could will... you uh, could you bring in my cat? Yes, I can. Hold on just a moment. Thank you. Now, one thing that you can do if you wish to have your cat on you, uh, one thing you can do mouse. mouse yep, and hit well, yeah, and hit uh, J. I think it is J. Oh, it's your animal companion. So he's going to fight. Is he going to fight this time? Yeah, I think okay. I have better. So, tactic. so select Slunkoth, mouse over yourself, and hit J. Did that work? There we okay. go. Yeah. Okay. And then here, I'll give you a scoot token. You can do the same thing. There you go. So we've okay. done everything on this floor except for the moss that makes you cold over there in the west. You fought that and, and I, murdered it. Yeah. So there's still stuff we haven't investigated. Well, this there's area the, is the dragon area, we think. Yeah, well, there's a bunch of outdoors there. And, we yeah. haven't snuck out there, but we, we do believe that heads back to the entrance cave under the dock or whatever that... So that, there's that, and there's basically the well, I think, or the there's that going into the outer door area where everybody is tagging. Um, there is also a door here that you have never gone through. Um, you guys glanced over here. Oh wait, hold on. You guys glanced over here, but didn't go in. Oh God! What have I done? Something about the mounting has put me into. Oh, I got out. Okay. I think now Scoot is stuck in a wall. What's the mount button? J. Okay. Well, it's normally M for mount, but that puts you in the center of the token, and I've got it set up so that. So that you can, because if they're if they're done with a familiar mount, then they like I can select either token. If you're mounted okay, on something, so how do I unmount? Uh, N. N. Who did you mount? So <laughs> Were you on top of Calliope? Yes, <laughs> I, I just <laughs> jumped up on her shoulder for a little while. <laughs> Let's go check out this door. In my opinion. Okay. Tag, tag the door we're talking about? Dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a door there. Look at that. Hey, and Scoot, the mounting threw Scoot into a wall, and he is stuck. So you, so okay. Did we look right. in this room here? I am happy to get... Do you remember Scoot? this room? Yes. Yeah, that's the room we rested in. Okay. Oh, no. Scoot is currently riding I... on... Here, I got him. I don't remember this big exclamation mark. Oops. Disrupt prey. Disrupt prey, huh? Uh, added to my. Okay, so you've got scoop. Okay. Exclamation point! What? Yeah, there's there. It went away. I think right. There was a. Um, yeah, and then it said Brian picked up disrupting prey. Yeah, but I. Uh, That's weird. I don't know I don't what that is. I'm killing it. Door. There it goes away. <laughs> <laughs> Something got dragged onto the ground is what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh just so can who has light and who needs light? Does everyone need light except me? I have light. I need um, light, but I usually will cantrip out the light uh if we get into a room that I feel like I don't want to carry a torch around. I may have been left in the dark. Oh, I'm, I've, 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 I've brought you over. Uh, there what I is am. our yeah? What's our current light source? Do you want me? To I could be carrying my torch or a lantern if it. Is Mine's on perfect. my shield, so we've got that too. So oh, okay. this is the this is the body of the other member of the Osprey Club, uh, underneath mm -hmm. the um, poorly constructed statue that the Morlocks made of Belcora. Yeah, Belcor. Should we have um, exploration actions going? Yes, we should. Okay, I've got scout set. Uh, I will do detect magic usually. Uh, Wendy usually has search set up. 
Oh, yes. Sorry, I do have search set up. Shall I use search? That is what I that is what I have you set up with right now. Great. I've, Thank you. I've got defend, so oh it's not doesn't look like it's showing up. Hold on, let me check again. Exploration active. Nope. Active. Active. I have a void there notice goes. just trying to be semi stinky stinky. I've got depend on, but so are we going in? Let's do it. We ready? All right. Uh, only a few fragments of shelving that once lined the walls of this pantry remain today. Wow. All right. I'll want to listen at this door. Do I hear anything? Uh, give me a perception check. Uh, Braun does not hear anything behind his door, and Trick does not hear anything either. I kind of kick through the Sorry, I shelving. Public. I hate the dice. Is there anything down there? Like not like just old food, nothing. It's it. This used to be a pantry, and it has long been since cleaned out, and the shelving is destroyed. I was yeah. listening at this door over here. Okay. Um, you do not hear anything at that door. Ron says that, uh, there's a stairwell, uh, going down over here. Um, Ooh. do we want to continue clearing out this level first before we, uh, head down? Yeah. Didn't we have another? Oh, the well was down. Yeah. There's another door yeah, there right was, here. Uh, other stairs yeah. appear to you. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, this, uh, this looks like it goes down to the, the swamp dragon. Did we want to, uh, check that out okay. I, I see another door here yep uh, that's it you see like ahead of you you see uh at the north end of, there's a cave down there and you see ruined rowboats and uh tangled co coils of rope does it smell uh, like the swamp is it pretty easy to tell where we are you do get the smell of water um you predict that you are near the water, yes. This is probably his lair. He's probably got treasure. Yeah. Let's look at this other door up here before we go to all the way down to the dragon. Is that a listener it as well? Have to step. I concur. Other door first before we go downstairs. Where's the other door? Um This door is oh, I, uh, you do not hear anything at the door. Open it as well. Oh, it's locked. Do do do. I just tricks. So you're up. Go. Oh, that's right. That's right. We have this kind of magic. <laughs> Hand magic. Uh, I will do a. I forget how to do a blind thievery roll. That's no. Okay, that's blind. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, you believe you've made some progress on the lock? Okay, then I'll gently open the door and. No, try you've to made peek some inside. progress on it. Oh, you're not okay. done. Ah, uh, I'll make another check. I guess I'm. You believe you? You you've almost got it. You're there. You're getting close. Yeah. Click. The lock comes open. Okay. Cheer. Now relock it. Uh oh. Well done. But um, the walls of this octagonal chamber chamber are adorned with swirling runes, carved into the stone and then filled with a dull silvery material. The floor is polished smooth, as is the ceiling ten feet above. Uh, Zippy, uh, this looks like your domain. Hey, all right. Look at this. I stand in the middle of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you stand right in the middle of it. <laughs> um, I look at the runes. I, do I recognize them? Uh, cult or religion? Like what uh, um, function of this is? Let me...
Give me, give me a, an arcan, a blind arcana recall knowledge. Ooh, that's not ideal, but okay. <laughs> that should be arcana, huh? You're not quite sure what this is. And, the, and the, this thing on the floor is printed there, or is that just the map? It is. It is there. It is printed on the floor. And it's polished. And what's this thing at this? What is at the south? Look, there's like a is it a pedestal or a mechanism there? Um, no, just... I I think that's just a sconce. Okay, gotcha. That is no. That is. Uh, was this room illuminated when you came in? I think it was. Uh, I think that it was illuminated because of Brond. Okay, well Maybe. then I'll say this: that sconce used to produce light, but does not seem to be doing so anymore. I uh, detect magic, which I'm kind of doing now. Does you do magic. not detect magic? Mm. Incidentally, sorry, quick rule thing. Uh, at rule as written, detect magic requires line of effect, so it doesn't penetrate walls. Yes, it's an or, emanation or, or chests, at, or technically even the glass of a potion bottle. So you'll have to just rule how you want to do it. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't. Well, I mean, it requires line of effect. The GM has to decide what that means. Yeah. It has to be an unbroken path between you. And it can't be blocked by anything. Okay. Okay. So you could. some people rule it as chests are fine. Some people rule it as you can't even see potions because they're made of glass. Right. And, and some people allow it to go through small amounts of wall. But um, all the, yeah, so anyway. I've been running it as an emanation. And so it is stopped by walls. I have not been huge on chests. Like, I feel like, uh, but but that I'll but that might not be one hundred percent going from now on. Now that you mention it, um, wow! So I'm surprised I know nothing. So uh, nothing. Uh, you know, I have a lot of lore on fortune telling and like effects of prophecy and whatnot. But this doesn't. This looks more summony. Do I have any shot of telling if this is? Um, you do not anyone? believe it has anything to do with prophecy. This is this this room served a purpose. You're not sure what it was. Um, it does not appear to be working anymore. Whatever it does. I was gonna say, does the room look look old? Um, it 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 is part of the construction of this place. Um so yes, it looks old. But it does, that door was locked, and there's not a lot of filth in here. It's pretty clean. You think nothing's been in here. Do we light this thing, you think? Do I, I inspect the uh, torch or the brazier, whatever it is, sconce, a little more closely. Does it have any runes on it or writing that makes, that makes it look like it's something that's not just a mundane light? No. You do not see anything on there that would lead you to believe it is anything other than something that held a magical light of some kind. I'm just going to look at every corner and peer around to see if I footprints, fingerprints, anything of interest. No, as a matter of fact, the dirt you guys are tracking in appears to be some of the, you know, like first dirt this that's in this place. It's It was clean. It was mostly clean before you got in. Great. Is it seek path. that? Is it seek that we use for uh, like investigate? Uh, yes. I'm gonna do a seek as I kind of look around the room to. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, it would be. I, I actually think it is investigate. Uh, let me look. Oh, I, I couldn't find it for some reason, but I. Let me look at it. No, not investigate. I think it would be perception. I think it would just be basic perception. Oh, okay. Yeah, because seek is like if you know something's there and you're trying to find it, right? Right. right. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. yeah. Um, you're, you're, you. This room is remarkably clean, and you guys, there's no hidden spaces. There's nothing, you know, out of place. Um, it's just a locked room with this weird stuff in it. 
Um, and it and there was not radiating <laughs> radi- radiating magic, correct? No. Well, good enough for me. Do we want to stand in the corners? I don't know that any of this shape really means anything, but. We don't have eight of here, I'm going to put Wendy in here just so you can see what the room looks like. Thanks. I was kind of lonely out there. Okay, here you go. There you go. I'll put you. Yeah, hop, yeah, yeah, hop, on, hop on over to the other corner. Let's see if something happens. Is there anything in my druidic influence that would be able to tell anything from this as well um you can um, do an arcana like check this doesn't look druidic yeah. at all this definitely looks arcane okay so, i can do an arcana thing Roll and it doesn't look do. occult either it looks arcane okay uh i'll do a arcane recall knowledge from you thank you want to sense the room's motive <laughs> you demoralize it into action um you don't recognize this at all calliope Man, okay I take it. sure why not well what a shame all right why do i sorry you got to change the at the bottom right uh well or when you pull so you the, when it. you pull the die roll up you have a drop down there as well Okay. It, not sorry. on the character sheet. Yeah, but but it, uh, yeah, it is. If you if you click on a roll from your oh. character sheet, um, it'll uh-huh. pull up the dialogue box, won't it? Uh, uh-uh. yeah, I think it did, and now it doesn't. Yeah, it, yeah, like if I click on Arcana, yeah, it just rolls it. Oh, there's a checkbox that says yeah, "Always correct. Show Dialogue Box." Yeah, correct. That needs to be. Oh, done. where yeah. is that? Um, it's either a workbench or tool belt, I think. OS and not the mod. I don't know if it, I guess it is per player. Yeah. Um so when I click on die rolls from her sheet, it pulls up the skill check box, which allows yeah. me to add modifiers, stuff like that. And there's a checkbox on the right side next to roll mode that says always show dialogue. Ignore that. So but anyway, nobody here recognizes anything that this room is. You have explored it. You have positioned yourself around the room. I think yeah, it might I'll be time to move on. To get very, very uh, cultish was for a vague symbol on a floor. And suddenly we're all lining <laughs> up on circles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we're, it doesn't, we're excitable. It doesn't seem the cultish. Yeah. It definitely seems arcane. It is not a cult. But well. it's where magic happens. This yes. is the room where magic happens. <laughs> just, we just call but we don't know what magic. So we're moving on. I guess we're maybe back on. in this room. Another Bye. Day. Bye room. <laughs> Bye room. It was special. Okay. Right. So at, uh so this is the nor- this is a small cave. The mouth of a swampy, flooded cavern yawns to the north. A few ruined rowboats lie in heaps on the floor of the cavern, strewn next to tangled coils of ropes. Remnants of a pulley system hang from the ceiling. Do we? Do I hear anything? Yeah, I'm listening for uh, dragon-like sounds. <laughs> you do not hear anything. You do not hear anything, Kapiri, and you're pretty sure that you would have heard it if it was there. Can the druid look for tracks or anything? Is that something? There we go. Sorry, ignore that. Okay. The druid is happy to look for tracks. The druid must be moved into the room. Okay. Uh, you do. Um, you do recognize some, see some tracks on the north edge of the cavern. Um, anybody can do that yeah, check are. that I put into the chat. I'll uh, roll for me, please. Okay. Uh, hold on. And also, move is it me ar- over. Go. Oh, an arcana check? Wait, what check? Uh, yes, it's an arcana check. Oh, whoops. Wow. Sorry, didn't mean to do it. Open, but I failed anyways. Um. <clears throat> mm. 
Victor, you are convinced these are the tracks of a river drake. Oh, I immediately share the information. Smugly to the druid. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? That's what we're playing this what, what is a, Recall knowledge uh, what of is, river drake? Uh, like, yeah, what is a river what drake? What do we know about that? <laughs> um... Well, uh, you know that um, uh, river drakes are drakes, not dragons, which means they, their wings are their arms, right? Uh, they are bestial. Uh, they are not as nearly as strong as dragons. But groups of them have been known to rampage and they can take out a village. Ooh. We consider them to be evil, dangerous. Are they, do they kill? Um, uh, are they good for the garden? Like, what are they? Uh, they aren't, they don't have really an alignment. They're, they're a beast. Well, we're getting the history on these, uh, river drakes. I'm going to be poking around in the, the, the boats here to see if I yeah. see anything. I bet he's involved in that cult. <laughs> you do not find anything in the boats. Um, they're almost all completely ruined. Um, these are old boats. Uh, it does appear. Um, so hold on just one second. Um, so it does appear there is a system for lifting boats up out of here through the roof and uh your suspicion is that it goes to the boathouse you guys that was de demolished mm. up on the shore interesting so this water we're, we're therefore we're way below the surface so this water that's to our north we don't think actually just connects to the lake no it you think it does you think mm. that this system was this was where they stored their boats and lifted them up to the boathouse that was on the shore. Right, but if you but remember, the water... there was a hole under the dock right. where the water went in. Because this you're on an island. And there are slopes on the edges. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, I mean, do we don't, are we trying to go find the River Drake? I guess that's the million dollar question, right? I, I I'll find a River that... Drake. Yeah, I figured. Uh, do we think they keep treasure? Do we know? Do we know that about them? Uh, mm -hmm. So I've given you the base information. If somebody else wants to ask that question and do yeah. an Arcana check, I'm all for it. I will attempt. And you can that. click that same link that was up above. Yeah, I've attempted <coughs> with. Um, do are they known to hoard items? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna ask the same. Uh, where'd it go? That's a there. failure. Victor's not sure. I'm happy to uh, ask the same question. And Trick's not Drake. sure. Let I'm me... I'm curious. Let me select Calliope and do it for okay. her. Calliope is, it, it evidently knows the treasure wow. habits of the River Drakes pretty well. They <laughs> are oh. moderately intelligent and like keeping small collections of things, but they are not hoarders like dragons. Mm. Oh, but take that, Z-Man. Hey, nice work. <laughs> I was about to say that. Um, <laughs> so, so, yeah, I mean, I feel like the Drake is probably going to end up dying, but I don't have any particular ill will to it. Well, I mean, I guess you could have another head. You could do a little scene. We have a dragon head. I like loot. Mm. Trick is more uh, well, interested on. I'm in not so, out the map. So to kind of let you know what's going on with this water over here, um, the roof is only about three feet above the water. Mm. Mm. That's no like problem. a whole one of me. I'm fine. Yeah, no, that. no, uh, yeah. It's a it's a nice hallway. So we have to. Some of us have to sort of duck our head down a little bit. And then some of you yeah. saw us have to crawl in it, correct? But depending on how deep it is. 
Uh, it well, it's getting pretty deep as soon as you start walking into it. God, none of those boats look viable. No, they're all hundreds of years old. The only reason that they've survived is because they were well oiled because they were for the water, you know? Yeah. This water's awful smelly too, Bron. It's it's swamp water. Is Ugh. there is there any um large plank we can pry free that I could float on? on the um boat? you might you might could fashion together a small raft for a gnome or a or a rattling via will... like the benches on some of the boats maybe let's see what we can do are we okay to give me a, a minute or two here yeah. I, i'm a i'm a whiz at this stuff this will work perfectly <laughs> i'm gonna do a crafting show this shouldn't have to be blind I volunteer i want to go on that that rick uh, i don't want to go first uh but here i'm gonna do crafting make a crafting check is it okay to that be public yeah yeah you'll know whether you okay yeah you make yourself a tiny raft <laughs> <laughs> nice well, i could check it i hold it up is it it looks like two people can is it one person on the raft and one person doing the end of the titanic uh like, yeah i would i would say or you could you could do it again and build another one um um uh, <laughs> All right. Yeah, see if we can. I'll make a shot. Do you guys hear the water, by the way? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Twenty-three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You you can build another little raft together. You 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 guys can have. You know, you can be so, a flotilla. I mean, that's two two rafts. Can I just keep scavenging materials? Or um, do you think it's winding there's a lot down. Of boat. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. As soon as you fail a crafting check, I'll say that you've run out of materials. Man, you could make a lot of rafts. I don't know. You have run out of materials. All right, got two rafts. One for Scoot, okay. one for Slunkoff. <laughs> these are uh, actually uh, these rafts are big enough so that you and your familiars, both of you guys, can be on them. Okay, um, so we can transport two people on the raft, or will, it, will like a bronze fit on it? No, absolutely not. I, I assumed you were right. making these oh, 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 oh. for little little three foot people. Yeah, yeah. A volunteer, so, a volunteer. Let's, no, let's go. I put them down. Can somebody can hang on it? Like, like you know, like hang on the door. Will it support a person hanging on the door? Bronze's not getting in that water. I, I, no. Y'all two should go. Y'all two. <laughs> All right, so I, I put the raft. It. I put the raft in the, the at, near the water and try to climb onto it. Okay. Uh, keeping scoot up on my hat. Oh, Sadie, what did you eat? I just <laughs> gave you your food. I didn't. I don't deserve that. Um, and sort of paddle with. Um, I think about using the mage hand for a minute, then realize why that would not work, and then I paddle with my <laughs> actual hand. Okay. <laughs> okay. So or you, actually a plank. Okay, I should. I, I mean, darn it, I should be able to have one more little piece of wood to paddle with. Yeah, yeah. So you can I definitely paddle. make yourself a thing. Okay. I paddled this far, and I paddled this far. Okay. And I stop to observe and listen. Okay. Um, are you trying uh, to be quiet at all? I am trying trying to paddle relatively silently, but I do at this point probably have to cast light. Okay. I'm not sure what's lighting my view right now. First, what I would like for you to do is roll sneak. Since I'm doing this as well, should I also roll sneak? Yes. Is that I thought you were going to say stealth, yeah. I thought you were going to say initiative at first. Okay, <laughs> well, what Kupiri, while you feel you are being fairly quiet, I think it's time to I think it's time to enter combat. You see just so you guys know what you see, you were not very quiet at all. You thought he just go. built some boats, so Yeah, you built boats and then you <laughs> stuck them in the water and you splish splashed over to the lake. 
Well, the building was quiet. I mean, I was screaming, I'm building boats the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The actual construction. Uh, and then um, a head pops up out of the water and looks straight at you. Let me get, uh, let me roll initiative for <laughs> Wendy. That could be the Drake. I bet that's the Drake. <laughs> hey, guys, I, I think you should come back here. <laughs> the frog is standing upright. On so, his um... so uh, <laughs> Calliope, you're first, um, but you don't see anything. So I'm going to skip by you. That sounds great. Let's do that. Uh, no one needs to heal, so we're good. So, so, uh, oh. Zydeco, you're paddling through the water when a head appears, like just pops right up out of the water directly in front of you. Um, uh, Ignore the ping. I was playing uh, with my... I, okay. So I, I scream uh, a little scream. <laughs> and then I... The, <laughs> What is over here? What's this shore here? Is this a wall or is this it like is a wall. bank? Yes, you see a little bit um, of shore all the way over here. Um, this is the um, exit out to the dock. You see the hmm. pier. You see the timbers of the dock far out here. Hmm. Okay, um, I'm going to. And then you see uh, the place you've been before over here. Yeah, um, that's I'm going where the, to... the brown mold was. Uh, this should work. I'm, uh, hold on, let me just verify. Um, I really need some space. When is he going? Right now. I'm going to... Um, first thing I'm going to do is dive off my raft uh, one square to the left. I'm going to dive off it, kind of roll onto the bank and turtle up, taking cover behind my... holding my raft in front of me and taking cover. It should completely cover me is my thinking. So I'm going to try to roll off my raft over to this, which is whatever you want me to do, a step yeah. or an athletics check or Athletic whatever. Athletics sounds good. Um, and then I'm going a to take Athletics cover. or acrobatics, whichever one's better. Okay. Uh, I will, neither are great for me, but I'm a pl plucky. Okay. I don't think that's really going to pull it. Moving. So what would, what would the failure state be? Uh, for I think that you have flopped over and are like, uh, you haven't made it to the shore, but you're holding on to your board. Okay. Then I'm going to use another action to get to the shore, just swimming with the board. Okay. You do just and that. I, and then I'm taking cover behind it, holding it in front of me, kind of crouching on the shore, uh, trying to get completely behind it. Okay. Uh, okay. What you give me, what do I get for that? Greater cover or lesser? Or what's um, your I'll give you, I'll give you greater cover. Well, actually, I think I'll give you a shield. How does that sound? Um, well, yeah, I have a... Wanna... You're basically, you're using your timber like a shield, right? Yeah, I mean, greater cover would give me, uh, I was taking cover behind a tower shield would give me, four. I'm trying to get the AC. Okay. More than the shield block. So okay. I'm, if I have greater cover straight up, it'll be plus four. Okay. Or we'll do. I'm, we'll do that. You have greater cover. Okay. Okay. That's all I'm doing, and then I'm, I'm hoping things will work for the best. <laughs> uh, I need to. I think we ought to have some music for this. Maybe. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so uh, the the Drake um, is a little confused when you flip over and go <laughs> against against the wall. I mean, uh, like in a impressed kind of way. I'm gonna say yes by your perception, <laughs> hide, hidden behind the board. Um, so, but he also sees Kupiri floating ahead of him. But he opts to turn towards you, and then he, um... Nothing there. There's just a wooden raft. I must have disappeared. 
I think he takes a strike at you with the, I think he just kind of chops down on you. Uh, and what's your AC with greater cover? 19? With greater cover, my AC is 19. That's he right. hits. And he hits you. Bam! Wait, that's not right. Everything is private. I guess that's what you're just doing, but I'm not sure if they're all supposed there we to go. private. Yeah, I don't know why it's not showing me as me. I think maybe it's because I got... Do I still have Wendy selected? I don't know. Uh, anyway. No. Okay. I stand bitten. Or clawed, whatever. Okay, so you, you are bitten, and then he looks over towards Kupiri, and um, uh, spits a ball of goo at you. A ball of goo, you say? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I need you and Brond to make a re basic reflex save. I'm sorry, that should have been private. It, no, it's reflex save. Oh, it actually, yeah, that's a reflex. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, okay. okay, so you guys each take half damage. There you go, and there you go. Um, yeah. Um, wait. Zero regrets, by the way. I am loving them. No, I. Yeah, they work great. We can have yeah. that conversation while this is going on. Okay, uh, so that is that is the River Drake's actions. Brond, what are you going to do? So Brond is going to start. Sorry, the cat knocked the mic away. Uh, start shouting and hollering at the River Drake <laughs> to try to get its attention. So I'm going to use demoralize. With okay. That. Yeah, I can see that. Uh. My or not, actually, it actually oh, might be cause a distraction. Isn't that oh, an action? They're, they're, they are that are different things. Okay. I mean, you could do either yeah, of those yeah. things. Uh, uh, Getting its attention. You can create a diversion, which is a different action than demoralize. Yeah. Well, but getting but, something. Well, they have a, different effects. Yeah. Well, I mean, it depends what you're trying to do. Like neither of them is a, neither of them is a taunt in a. Yeah. yeah. So let's really just do a, a raw intimidation roll to, to to basically try and taunt them. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Intimidation. Roll. Okay. 21. You, you, it, it definitely seems like it's looking at you now. All right, yeah, I'm going to stand there, and I've about shouting and hollering at it, and I've got my shield raised up from uh, my defense, whatever, when we were walking around. Yeah. And, uh, or I guess I can just raise shield as an action, too. And, uh, yeah, I'll stand here on the, uh, in the way, kind of blocking it so that it can't get to the folks behind me. And, uh, so yeah. brave. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Brave act. Okay. Uh, anything else you're gonna do? Um. Mm, can I demoralize it as well? Yeah. So you're yeah, going to. So you did one intimidation check to get its attention. You're doing yep. another to demoralize it. Yep. And I raised my shield. Okay. It'll be minus um, four if you don't actually speak a language it understands. But yes. Yep. Unintelligible. It's it's part of the. I was looking oh, at that. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Who? Who? Yep. Critical failure. Um. Yep. It's immune to your attempts to. Um. Notice how it did it in the chat. Bron tries to demoralize River Drake in common. <laughs> Critical failure. Doesn't speak the language. <laughs> okay. So it is now right. Kupiri's turn. 
I think he said he's stepping away. I don't know if he's back. Oh, Does yeah, Kali that's true. Did Calliope delay, basically, like she could jump in at yes. point? Yes. Well, no, no, I just had, since she hadn't seen anything, she oh, wasn't gotcha. in a position to do anything, so I just gotcha. basically stuck her at the end of initiative. Gotcha. And we'll wait for Kapiri to get back in just a second. I need better music than this. I'm not hearing it. I'll probably have it turned down. Let's see. Uh, it's a good time to do that. Though. Oh, yeah. It's weird. The playlist um, it seems to be really either too dynamic or the tracks are not like all the same level. Cause yeah. I had to try to turn it way the hell up to hear this. I'm back. Okay. I'm sorry. If well, I'm that's back. fine. Uh, we're going to try this up. one. Let's see. What's, what's this one sound like? Hey, gentlemen. I'm really sorry, but I'm going to have to um, go get some rest. Okay. 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 Oh, that's way too loud. Feel better. Goodbye. Yeah. Thank you. I'm just Good weak. Night. Good night, sweetheart. Hi. Let's turn that back up there a little bit. Okay, Kapiri, it is your turn. Okay, what did Bron do to this thing? He taunted it and then tried to intimidate it and fail. Okay. Um... So we're safe, basically. <laughs> right. Uh, is this in the water right here? Um... Or yeah. is that on the shore? It's sort of both. It's half water, half land. Okay, well, I feel like that's a better place to be than where I am right now. Okay. So, um, I, I jump dramatically. Okay. Off of my raft. <laughs> okay. It comes up more than I thought it would. It really does. Do either an athletics or acrobatic check to see if you're able to oh, jump oh, from geez. a makeshift raft hey it was i wouldn't call it makeshift i i would definitely call it makeshift <laughs> proficiencies there it is okay acrobatics or athletics we'll do acrobatics okay you successfully land on the ground okay so that's my first action my second, in a very dramatic, sweeping my arm around, I shoot at the thing. Okay. I don't remember how to do that. Target it. Oh, sorry. I assume that misses. That will indeed miss. And uh, then I reload, and I'm done. Okay. It is now Trick's turn. Do I have sight of it right now? You do. Okay. Um, I'm assuming oh, you're looking off. through bronze legs at it. Yeah. <laughs> Flunk off as soon as like people are getting to the water. He did the cat thing and hid. Uh, we don't know where he is right now. Okay. So I'm going to make it my prey or target. Okay. Then I'll do a Oh, look at the animations. Okay, you do two points of damage to it. Oop. Wow. That's some good roll in there, good buddy. Is it dead? <laughs> <laughs> um, That's good, though. The arrows are in it. And then you're moving to the side? <clears throat> yep, that's three. Okay. It is now Calliope's turn. She takes a step back, and she sees the thing all the way over there. And she decides to do a frost bolt edit. A ray of frost. 
She misses, and um, then she offers some kind words. And it is now Zydeco's turn. I am going to... Uh, Scoot has... Uh, I need to unmount Scoot. I think I just target Scoot and hit in. Yeah. Yes. So um, Scoot has spell delivery, so I can grab him and put a spell into him. So, uh, and then on Whoa. his turn, he can go deliver that, that spell. Actually, hold on. This is already... Let me make sure the range of the spell without it being delivered. Uh, hang on one moment. Uh, blah, 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 hello, hello, Welcome range, back. Tu range touch, okay, so yeah, I'm going to deliver, I'm going to cast Runic Weapon into Scoot, who okay. will blow, and I'm going to send Scoot scurrying down the bank, uh, okay. or the wall, he can probably, and he's going to deliver, crawl up onto Kapiri. I'm still and... really impressed that Scoot has a land speed of 25. Well, he's, fa yeah, he's got like a lot of legs, and, um, <laughs> <laughs> Crawl onto the gun of Kapiri and deliver the runic weapon onto it. Okay, Kapiri, you're standing there when all of a sudden a bug starts crawling up your body. How do you handle it? It's a bug you know. <laughs> I mean, it is a bug I know, but it's still a bug. <laughs> <laughs> In my uh, head, okay. I think, don't reflexively eat it. Don't. Um, so, I, I mean, I remember how we did that last time. If I cast it into chat, then yes. you should be able to drag it. I can it drag it onto it. Yes. Here we go. I'm pulling it over. Oops, wait. Hold on. So now your gun will have double damage plus one. Here we go. Onto Kupiri. Onto your dueling pistol. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And then I, then, um, I have kept my shield. I haven't done anything to move where I am in either of those actions. So okay. I'm still be squatting on the bank behind the shield. Okay. Uh, whether or not that downgrades my cover is up to you, but I did cast and send a scoot out. Okay. Yep. Uh, okay. So next round, or next, uh, the River Drake um, looks at I have the. To, I have to reset. Okay. Or something, something's wrong with my, my uh, boundary. I'm sorry, go ahead. It's all right. Uh, the River Drake ambles towards, like, thrusts itself through the water at Kupiri, and then does a move you've seen before from the, um, from the green dragon that you fought. Uh, it's it's uh, called a Draconic Frenzy, where it whips its tail around and then bites onto Kupiri and then whips his tail around again. Oh, not hate that. that I can't see your die rolls. It uh, drives me crazy. It does me too. But uh, you can see. Oh, wait, I can fix that. Hold on. There we go. I'll, I'll do that from now on. There. Um, hold on. I need to reload that. Okay. So, uh, the first hit with its tail is a critical. Kupiri gets hit for 20 oh. points of damage. The second hit is from a jaw strike. And it does 17 points of damage, and Kupiri is down. Oh, no. And it is now... Bronze turn. And Braun occupy the same space as Kapiri since he's down and smaller than me? Uh, yes. Or I, I think I can also, like, yes, just you can go. Caddy. Yeah, you can go. Uh, you can do that right there. Right there. Okay. And I am going to smack the shit out of. Oops. Wrong button. Uh. Let 
attack. So you're attempting a strike on it? Yep, I'm attempting a power attack. Okay, the... The, um... Drake responds with a reaction. That's why I'm... Okay, Um, I'm gonna do my roll first and... I assume that this doesn't have a map on it, does it? Re- reactions never a obey map. Okay. You it misses. Okay. So you hit the Drake, even though it tries to swing its tail at you. Yep. Uh, power attack on. Okay. You do there fourteen points of damage to the Drake. Okay. And uh, that is it for me. Okay, it is now Kupiri's turn. Kupiri, I need oh. you to make a flat check. Um, you just need to Did roll make, a d20. Like, should I make like choking sounds? While I'm doesn't yes. Kupiri go to right before the Drake? Yes. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Sorry, uh, that's a good point. I mean, it's, it's just to our advantage because it means Kupiri will be up. Right. By the time, yeah. Okay, thank you for reminding me of that. I forgot. I have moved Kapiri, so we are now to Trick. All right, and I'm going to pop back out. Do my hunted shot. That's going to hit. Choo. That is... Uh going to miss mute okay and you can do half your movement do actions and do the rest of your movement right no or wrong no okay okay then i'm stuck here (laughs) okay it is now calliope's turn calliope decides to do a heal on kupiri that doesn't sound like her. Hmm. She wouldn't do that. I'm kidding. Uh, how do I cast it? No, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, I guess I'm... Okay. There. Uh, That's not giving me the thing I want. Why is it giving me the weird... A cool thing where I can choose. Let's do this. Let's try. Uh... How do I reset my spells? Um, other than rest, long the rest. Yeah. yeah, I don't think she clicked the. Well, I know I'm not play. able to click that as her. Mm-hmm. So what I'm gonna do, Bron, I'm gonna give you control of her token. Will you do a rest for the night on her? Yep. For some reason, I'm not able to do it. There you go. You could also, if the spell has a line through it, like it's hashed out. Yeah. Ne- next to the trash can on the right, there should be a restore spell. See, I see extend spell, but I'm not seeing. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So let me go back to her token. Boop, 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 boop. Um, or actually, I'll just leave you there in case we need to do anything. So she's going to cast a heal spell. But actually, no, she's not going to do that. She's going to cast a level two rank heal spell. Heal versus living. Roll healing. And Kupiri gets 26 points back. All right. Perfect, perfect. Uh, And then she will... That was a two-action thing. And then she's going to look beautiful. And now it is Zydeco's turn. Oh, God, we're going to get to go, and then I'm going to go, and Kupiri is going to go. And 
but you're going to be shooting, so you I, flanking it won't do anything. So I think it might be prudent for me to continue hiding. So your weapon is I enchanted. will point out you're currently flanking for Brond, I believe. I am. Yeah, I mean, I'm not... I'm taking cover behind a shield. Oh, that's so true. So that wouldn't have provide to tell me whether that would. Yeah. Um, and Brond is pr really okay. I should probably lay my hands on myself while I'm private behind the shield here. Uh, I think that's prudent. So I do that first. I uh, touch. Ding. And I will heal. Okay. Get a tiny AC bonus that way. I'm applying your healing. There you go. Uh, and then for my other two actions. I guess I'll leave cover. <laughs> I guess I'll leave cover. I feel, like, I feel like Broad is going to wreck it. And so it's going to be good to do. And so bravely and heroically, I will burst out from behind the shield. Yeah. Uh, and make an elf sound or a, a little gnome sound and um, draw my dagger. So draw. I'm not moving, so drawing a dagger is one action. And I will just attempt to stab it. Then I can cast next round. Okay, yeah, stab it. You're flanking so, it. Uh, yep. So oh, I don't even have that set up because it might be the first time I've swung my dagger. Um, <laughs> I think uh, it is, actually. Uh, one second. Sorry, I'm having a gooey problem. Ew. Okay. Uh, why? I'm not getting... For some reason, I'm not getting my attack. That's weird. Um, Got it out. I'm holding it. I'm Not seeing your dagger that. on your attacks. Okay. No, I was, I was, um, I'm doing something dumb. Okay, go, <laughs> go, dagger. You miss. I, he is flanked. That's good. That's yep. fine. I'm gonna stay there. I think we can make it through this round. A lot's gonna happen. Okay, right Kapiri, now. what are you gonna do? Oh God. Uh, so, my problem is I'm prone with no weapons. Yeah, so, that's right. That's right. So nothing's gonna. I regret jumping out from behind the shield now. Well, you can, <laughs> you can grab your weapons and fire from the ground. Yeah. Like go, go, Kapir. And like, oh fuck, he's like in the water. He's just swimming around. Yeah, you can swimming around like, face like, first down. How much water am I in right now? Am I like in danger of losing my my? Weapons? No, no, you're in. You're in a foot of water, maybe. Okay, that's like half my height. Well, okay. then we'll say um, we'll say six inches of water. You're on, you're okay. on. <laughs> All right, uh, I will pick up my pistol. Yeah. It's always a weird little and... caveat. Yes, Victor. Please carry on. Carry on. Sorry, I was the wrong time for that. You can't. I, if he's really swimming, he can't also. He also can't be prone. What do you mean? Because the, the the underwater combat rules forbid you uh, from having the prone condition if you're. He's not under. He's water. not. He is in he's water. He can stand. Water it. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. And I am going to shoot at this thing, futilely. I'm sure. Now you can pick up both your weapons with one action. Oh, can you? Yes. Well, then I will pick up both with that one action. Yes. And yep. then I will shoot. Okay. You hit. You do six points of damage. Wait, no, it should. Uh, that should have had runic weapon applied on it. It did. It did. Yeah. Oh, you rolled. I can't see the rolls. So uh, you rolled. I rolled two d six. Oh, gotcha, yeah. Gotcha. Um, and then I will. Uh, you have one more action. And look, reload and look mean for a frog. You want to do a reloading strike? Uh, I can't hit it from here. You're right next to it. Too far away. You're right next. It's what? right next to you. Yeah. Okay, I'm not seeing the map. Everyone else is seeing then. All right. Um. He's standing right in front of you and diagonal from Braun. 
Yes, you just moved onto him and off of him. Yeah, I can't see that. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Um, and then I will do a reloading strike. Okay. You critically miss. <clears throat> Fresnel Kesh, because that's his name. Um, German is hurt by Brond pretty badly, so he does a draconic frenzy. Oh, those suck. I've seen those. Yes. <laughs> And he does tail, fang, oh no, tail, he hits with a crit with his first tail strike against Brond. and does 20 points of damage to Brond. Uh, do you think the gnome can get out of there by himself if we just leave? I, oh, I already, yeah, I, I already thought about that. There's a exit. Like I can literally just take. I have two rafts. Um, so yeah, I can sail out. And then as a final action, he takes. Why is there no? I, I can't do a map minus fifteen, can I? I got to put another five circumstance bonus on it. They just, they, it doesn't increase any further, I don't believe. Okay. Uh, I, I guess I, I'm not going to... And it bites Kupiri for 12 points. It hit with a minus 15 or minus... 10, yep. 10? Yep. Well. He got a 19 on his final thing. Okay, Braun, it is your turn. Correct. Yeah, correct. It stays at minus All 10. All right. <clears throat> Brond is going to attack again. Oh. Let's see. Strike. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, it gets a tail swipe at you. Okay. It crits. Jesus. And you take another 22 points. Oof. Oh. And um, then you get your attack and you hit and you do 19 points. Mm -hmm. Don't forget you can stoke your sword. Yeah, I was gonna... I think raising my shield is a better... better this use of a, my time. This is a... <laughs> This is a... Nothing. That's it for me. <laughs> Trick, it is your turn. Huh. Can I... You got it. It's almost dead. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay. Ooh. It hurts when you can't crit on that's because you need that deadly. That's excellent though. God, I'm tempted now just to magic missile it to death and waste the slot. Um hold on just one second. I need to check something. Okay. Uh it is now Calliope's well, turn. Oh I for me, uh, doing two shots is one action. So okay. third action, I'm going to duck. Okay. Um, Calliope <laughs> moves forward. Oops, not that. Stop that. Moves forward, targets Brond, and does a two action heal on him. Brond is very grateful. Fifteen points, and then she steps back again. Actually, no, she can't do that. That's three actions. There we go. Okay, so it is now Zydeco's turn. Um, I'm delaying. I'm looking expectantly at the frog. 
Uh, okay. You know, put this on me. Uh, so you're gonna move away. to 19. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh wait, how do I? I'm, I'm gonna sure move the frog to, to 20. It. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Go frog. Kapiri. Let me move you back. There you go. You are standing in front of a river drake that is almost deceased. It has a name. You're murdering a thing with a name. I... It's the one that's back here first. So. <laughs> um, and I'm not standing in front of it. I'm still on the ground and I don't know how to get up. So uh, You could see. stand up. Do you want to do that? I would like to stand up because okay. I, want to be I have removed thing. prone from you. Thank that's you. Your... That's one action. And then second action. Where is it? There it is. I'm shooting. You hit. Uh, actually, yeah, you hit. Why all your and it is an X River Drake. Yay! I stab it. <laughs> <laughs> well I liked done. your uh I liked your uh, little trying to get us to talk to it, you know, cuz there's probably story cuz it has a name. But, uh, <laughs> no, um, no it doesn't. It, it 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 only speaks draconic and I didn't think any of you spoke draconic. Um I just uh was trying to shame you for being murder hobos. Oh, um, wow. Well, I don't think a map I mean, was I... still dark, West. What were we supposed um, to do? <laughs> <laughs> there was an well, exclamation how... point. There was a question mark on the map. We had to go there. How big was that? Uh, it is. It is a medium-sized creature. Um, okay. So it was probably about the size of that baby green dragon you fought. Maybe a little bit bigger than that. Gotcha. Uh, Trick's gonna ask Braun if he could drag it to uh, the bank before it Ronda sinks. obliges. Grabs okay. It. okay. I'm going to uh, prout some teeth. Okay. I'm clamoring back on my raft like a toddler on an inflatable. Okay. <laughs> uh, Are we still in combat? Around. Oh, yeah. Let me end it at counter. Sorry about that. Thank you. Boop. There we go. And I want to know if anything else would be worth uh, anything. I don't think I want it fed. No. You're not familiar with anything else that uh, is worth any value on a on a river drake. Okay. I'll just get its teeth in. And what are you doing, oh. Sideco? I'm paddling uh, this direction. I've okay. Got back on my raft. That's old news to me. Yeah. And uh Looking down, I guess I'm probably in darkness, so I'll be holding my lantern. Okay. Looking down this little sluice area, kind of still paddling as quietly as I can, but I am shining light down it. Okay, I gave you a thing. Oh. Oh, well, nothing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Say, <laughs> I look at, I see the chest and think, oh, Braun will love this. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is exciting. So I, I um, don't shout. I don't, I don't have. Do I have a message loaded up? I kind of paddle back and let the party know to come over. Okay. And then paddle over to it. It's, we've got some. We're doing obfuscation now. That's cool. So, I'll wait till the party gets over and then I'll start. Um taking the items out okay. and, well, and detecting magic to see if any... I mean, I guess the wand is obviously magical. Yes. So I actually just immediately take the wand out and begin to try to identify what it is. Okay. Uh, I don't know the exact rules for that. Do you know them? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, on a magic item like that, any tradition can be used. So I'll do an identify magic check on it, basically. Okay. Uh, and critical success means I know literally everything about it. And the success means I kind of get the gist of what it does and how to activate it. But you're free to leave some surprises yeah. lurking in there. Yeah. Um, whoop, hold on. I 
think there's even a macro for it. Let's see. Yeah, I think it might be under basic action macros. Oh, no, I don't see it. Well, they had one set up. Let me see if it's in the compendium. Uh, identify magic is an ability. There is a macro for it in the compendium. All right. So I'll go ahead and use it just in case it automates anything. Otherwise, it'll be an occult check. So, blah, blah, blah. Identify. Go there. Oh, uh, yeah. That is a success. And I will just go ahead and identify that thing for you. There you go. Oh. Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, let, let me look at that. A wand. There you go. Ooh, a wand of magic missile. That's very handy. I hold on to it. Do you want me to distribute the coins among the group? Yeah. Well, I guess if you don't mind. <laughs> yep, I got it. There you go. Everybody gets their money. I guess I can. Um, I mean, there's an unusual object. What does it look like? Like grossly in appearance. Um, <clears throat> let me see. I mean, it's probably me or Calliope doing the identifying at this point. So uh, it appears to be some kind of handheld device. Let's do it next. I'll do. OK, uh, let me put it this. I, hold on. I got a way to do this. I'm going to put it in okay. check. Oh, yeah. cool. Oh, I see. Perfect. Yeah. How'd you do that? Uh, so when I have the objects obfuscated, a question mark shows up next to them in the equipment list and I can click it and I have the oh. ability to post checks to chat. OK. Um, you, I'm just going to go ahead and give them to you. I'm going to yeah, do that. Oh, wait, wait, find her. It's good. Oh, that's nice. And are you wanting us to check from the great axe? Yeah. Or, um, yeah, okay. here we go. Burp, 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 burp. There we go. If I can't get it, Wendy can get it. Yeah. Oh, can get it. Okay, you got it. Wait, here we go. Burp. Here we go. So the Wayfinder, you know, has light on it all the time. Uh, it would be nice for one of the people who can't see. Uh... So I hate to take it and the wand, but I am taking the wand. What does the Wayfinder do again? It's a... So it's basically a compass. Um, it can store an Aeon Stone. Okay. And it has permanent light uh, if you activate it. Okay. Or not permanent light, but you can activate it to target you with light. Yeah. Basically. Um, uh, Calliope targets Brawn for treat wounds. I'm feeling so guilty. I killed something with a name. Um, Monster. Yeah. But well, didn't ever say it's name. Nice. Uh, and I'll give you another. Uh, do you guys want to stay here and spend an hour <coughs> so she can get another yeah, well, seven points to Brond? Uh, yeah, I guess Brond, that's where we're looking at the items. Okay. Yeah. So I'm so going to go who, ahead who and else? give you more of that. There you go. <coughs> who else can't see in the dark? Is it not just me, is it? It's me, me too. I also can see in there. Why don't you take the Wayfinder since I took the wand? I didn't think we should take the Wayfinder and sell it. <laughs> well, it is 28. Gold. Oh, I'll take it. Yeah. Sure. Take it for now. Then I yeah. do Axe, probably Bron. I don't know if Bron knows um, anything about Axes, but it's cool. Calliope Ooh, can't see in the dark the either. Axe. She's got, I think, low light vision as an elf. Right, that's me. So same. Is this one of those drag it to my inventory thing? Yes. Should be able to drag it out of the chest, yeah. Got it. All right. 
And there's a retribution axe. Yeah. Ooh. A neat axe. Retribution. It's a neat effect. I mean, I don't know. You're more of a sword. I don't know what your specializations are, but. Oh, it's, no. She doesn't even have low. I do, elves don't even have low light vision, do they? Oh, do they? Mm. Interesting. Brond, would you be interested in a plus one great axe? Well, it actually applies. Uh, it's a plus one great, but if you gain a plus two circumstance bonus to your next damage roll against the creature before the end of your next turn that hits you. Yeah, so, it's so that that's guy. actually pretty nice. Yeah. I don't uh, know, that seems more like a trick <clears throat> though, dry. What's that? What's that a great oh, axe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that thing is is taller, is 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 a half foot <laughs> a half head taller than you. Uh ba, ba, ba. Yeah, I mean I'll I'll give it a try and hey if okay, you want to well, try that out. I'm not going to leave it. You leave it. Oh, unless somebody else wants it. But I, I'd be willing to let somebody have the, the smoking sword if they wanted. It's fun. I don't know how to use any of that stuff. Ooh. Uh, what They're... kind of... Is it a regular sword or... It's a long sword. Long sword. Yeah. Let me see. What's up, up, up. Here, I can... I'll, I'll put it in the... Well, it's a sweet little sword. Yeah, there, I, I, yeah, I don't know. If, uh, I mean, it's a plus. It's a plus one striking longsword, and it does plus one damage, and you can stoke it to deal one d six damage for a round. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm trying to remember if there's a reason why I had to had to use a short sword. Because it's agile. Yeah. I think you have to use an agile weapon for your reloading strike. Oh wait, uh, the oh. the retribution axe is two handed, so I oh. don't want that because I got my shield. Oh okay. Yeah, this might. Oh, be... Sorry guys, <laughs> that axe might no, be that... for sale. Yeah. yeah. I'll hold on to it for now, of course, since I can carry more than I think most everybody else, and we can decide what to do with it once we get back. Hell, maybe we just wanna. Put it on the mantle back in our cabin. Maybe we'll have use for it in the future. It does take. A, it does have a face on it mm -hmm. that changes to be the last person you hit. I think. The, right? No, the last person that damaged you. Right. So we could just for fun damage each other and just you know let one of our faces be on the axe. <laughs> <laughs> Like it's, if it's a decoration, that that seems. We you sure do know how to party. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys I see. Try that. <laughs> you guys do see the um, the the dock out there, and the and that's actually the boat that you guys found earlier, that the Osprey guys left behind. And they will probably send somebody up to come get it later. But that is the this is the the waterway out to the first level. Rick wants to dunk his head and look under the water just to see if, because I don't think the Drake oh. put the stuff in the chest, you know, just yeah. in case there's anything else. Uh, you don't see anything. Okay, it was worth it. Uh, was it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess. Are you afraid to explore? Are you one of the, are you like uh when you're wet are you like a fifth the size? Are you one of the like you're all fur? <laughs> <laughs> like when you shave a Pomeranian or something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do we wanna check down oh, here? Oh wait, now, she's got she's got the thing that allows her to do No, she's got. She's got ward medic, so she can treat two people at once. Right. Okay. That's nice. Oh, I can also cool. use battle medicine on a creature. Oh, never mind. Uh, she's an expert in medicine. When you succeed with Battlemet, you 
which you, I think you got the additional five points from that. Let me double check that. Okay. Uh, and then she'll get over here. She's going to treat um, Kupiri as her second target because that will get rid of the wounded condition on him. So I should get rid of the wounded condition. That is a critical success. So you get treated all the way up. Then yeah, you should no longer be wounded. Yep. Um Bron, do you want to wait and uh, wait a little while? Well, I guess she could go ahead and do a treat wounds again cuz the immunity is only for an hour, right? Okay, so she's going to go ahead and do another treat wounds because you just finished your hour and you guys like lingering around. She succeeds and we apply the 14 and you're three points down. Do you want to spend another hour doing it or not? Nope. Okay. Nope. 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 We're good. Okay. I. Well, I don't. Are we gonna uh, wander down to this passageway of muck that I think is where the horrible thing came out of last time? We were fighting. Well, when we had the big fight in there, there was a, a yep. fairly significant creature that I don't know if he came out of the cave to the lake or that slimy cave. I think he came out of that slimy cave on the south, right? Did we ever check out the slimy cave to the you south? You did not. No. No. Ooh, do we? How big is this tunnel? Uh, you can right squeeze through one at a time. All right. Rondel. Uh, uh, uh. Uh oh. There we go. Okay. Yep. You go down and you find the cave where you guys fought Grawlgust and his Grothlet buddy. I think Scoot is on me and I can't move because I, of it. I'm Scoot. <laughs> oh, oh no he's caught hold he's caught the hair hold here caught your fur. there i think the problem was you you were getting the you were on the selecting the corpse of the oh thing. yeah yeah pretty, uh, okay there we go there we go okay i'm so sorry <laughs> So you guys come down and you find yeah. the room where you fought the Morlock. The corpses are still here. Um, you fought the Morlock leader here. His name was Grawlgust. Oh, he had a name too. Oh, cute. <laughs> we should keep a list, a diary of the names of everything we kill. Uh, I usually put them in your in your in your bestiary. I don't think I did. I don't think I updated it this time. Um, I don't think I put Karsten Starhand in there. Well, y'all He's too with busy Pan with his other games. I know it's <sighs> not a Pathfinder thing, but there's a Pandora bracelets. Yeah. The neat idea would be to make a little charm, and every time we kill something with a name, <laughs> <laughs> so you can jingle it and go, "These are my murders." Uh, do you go to the south? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Water drips down the walls of this cavern, particularly along a jumble of dangling pallid roots to the south. Beneath them is a large, soggy nest of mud and bones. Ooh. I bet we're under the uh, oh, graveyard. Home, but no, you're nowhere near the graveyard. No. Oh, no. oh okay. Uh, I was going to say that doesn't make sense with where the dragon was. So this is where you think the aberration that you fought lived was in here. Mm. Uh, I find something. I don't know. Ugh, this stuff's gross. I'm I put so Scoot glad down we in came the, down here. Yeah. It's, <laughs> I, I put Scoot down in this stuff and have him start 
uh, scooting around. Um, <laughs> sure. I'm just going to tell you, there's nothing here. There, this is this is a giant slimy room where a nasty thing lived that you could have encountered on its own had you been quiet. Uh, the room I'm, I'm, to the right, uh, one huge wall of the washroom has been gouged out by sharp claws, revealing a rough hewn tunnel to the west. Oh, right. And it just brings us back here. Yep. Yeah. And you're back here. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. So well, then I guess the million dollar question now is there's two stairs down and there's a well. Uh, and I, I, I'm on the jump down the well team. I know I'm going to be outvoted. <laughs> <laughs> we are back. What have you guys decided? Um, jump oh, down yeah. the well. Um... <laughs> Do <laughs> So do I have any uh, chance of convincing the party at the whole that we have rope and it might be a more exciting entrance to the next <laughs> level down? You go first. We can send um, Scoot <laughs> down on a, I mean, slunk off on a rope. <laughs> Can Slunkoth talk? No. Slunkoth is a cat. I don't know how that. He I looks at you like I, you're the dumbest <laughs> asshole. Well, of your life. All these rare animals work. <laughs> I don't know. Like, um, I would have to recall knowledge on whatever that is. Um, I mean, we could send Scoot down on a rope and just. Or we could walk Bro. down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> or we could walk down there and fuck all of them. <laughs> uh, um, all right. Well, sounds like we're pretty divided, so I don't know. <laughs> so well, you've got, well, hold you on, I'm trying two scoots you there. I need to get rid it. of one of those. Okay, there we go. Okay. He does that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, follow Bron. Okay. <laughs> Yep. I mean, Either way, that, we're we're not where I don't we need know to be. That, yeah, I don't know that either staircase seemed more. I mean, if we're gonna take the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like the one. Do I have any strong? I mean, the one in the back over here just seems like it's more. Away from crap, I don't know. There's no, yeah, no, kind of look no around the yeah. <laughs> let's see that one. We found it first, it means more sentimentally. Yeah, I agree. I like that. <laughs> so, we're gonna go back. I, I can hit the restroom on the way over there. Okay, uh, we're gonna go back. I'm going down the automated janitor hallway. I'm gonna stick my head in the restroom and see if the script starts again. Uh, it does indeed. Um, I'm not missing the script or the the spook. It's exciting. It's my favorite part. It is. Oh, <laughs> good. This was good. the big dead skeleton, full of blood, apparently. And then I back up. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm keeping detect magic up. How's uh, everybody's spell slots there, guys? I'm ready to cast five magic missiles. <laughs> oh, I need yeah. to take this uh, runic weapon off before I forget. There we go. Okay. Oh, See I, you guys. I assume we re I could have refocused on our all that messing around here. Yes. Yes, you absolutely can. Okay, now I have to figure out where the fuck you guys are. Uh, hold on. I think it's...
I still find it hilarious that Kapiri's um, name in the chat is always Kapiri parentheses frog. <laughs> 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 Uh, I didn't want anyone to be confused. <laughs> okay. See, one day a princess is going to kiss him, then he'll be Kapiri <laughs> human. Let me get you guys on the board. Oh, I guess we left our rasp. Well, that's fine. Those are precious memories. <laughs> oh, that was great. That that turned out being a horrible Mark Twain story, just like I wanted it to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I need to do this. Hold on. I was about to say without the racism, but actually, there, <laughs> yeah. there's been plenty of that here. So, I ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then this. It's really hard in these tiny little freaking hallways. Does that work? No. There we go. There we go. Okay. So. I'm bringing you down to the next level. Uh, this hallway is a landing with two staircases. One leading up to the north and one that you've just come down from the south. Splintered, oh. rotten wood lies scattered around this hall. Where did these, where the hell would those go? The stairs going up. You don't know. Huh. Right? I'm, I'm well, right to be confused, right? Is that? Yeah. We should totally. Like, well, go up I want to go up the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> I... Do we hear anything down here? I'll give you a perception. That's oh, what I should definitely get some music going. That's for sure. Uh, here we go. There we go. Uh, you do not currently hear any noise in any of the directions that you're looking in. Uh, for real, well, do, you, do we want to go upstairs? <laughs> yeah, I, I think we should. I think we should see why, how, where stairs could go down here okay. yeah okay you're gonna go up the stairs uh spooky let's see oh god this is gonna be a pain in the ass um <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to say this. The stairs go up to a five by five landing that is a dead end. That's weird. Yeah, that's really and I weird. assume we will do searching and stuff and not find anything, I imagine. There you go. Okay, yes, you find a secret door at the top of the landing. Who figure? Who could have Kupiri possibly... found the secret door. Nice. So I'm going to go ahead and open the door and then bring all you guys here. It's going to take me a second because i got to move you through the dungeon. Because the landing is tinier. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I can't put all you guys in here. Hold on. Bing, bing, bing. I like this music. Better too. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and reactivate the previous scene. And if you guys will scroll north. Oh, what the, yep. oh, wow. What the? Um, okay. Um, seven square alcoves, each containing strange magical apparatuses or alchemical sets of tools ring this damp stone chamber. The alcove to the north contains a large glass tank filled with liquid. A goblin's corpse, corpse, pardon me, clad in outdated servant's clothing floats inside of it. A semicircular work table covered with tools, moldy papers, and a large open book stand in front of the tank. Well, let's check that book normal. out. Uh, yeah, obviously, immediately, like, what do we, what's the book written in? What language? Uh, hold on just one moment. Um, somebody give me one of those. Oh, God, an occult check. The gnome's going to go crazy. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I, something's wrong here. I click that occultism check and it gives me the arcana check. That's um, that's pretty weird. Oh, I don't know why. I did not. So I'm gonna do I'm yeah. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna do the um, I'm just gonna do the occultism manually then. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I why don't we take that roll because that was a good roll, right? Oh, I don't, I don't know. Oh, there you go. That's lot. fine too. It's okay. the same either way. You're doing great. Um. So um. You're pretty sure that this is a workshop dedicated to construct construction and necromancy. Um, you also believe that the workshop's emphasis is on transferring mortal souls into a construct or vermin. Oh, or vermin? Uh I'm trying not to make eye contact with Trick. <laughs> looking at the tank. Um, so I wonder if these those little robotic janitors that we took all their gems away. Right here. What else is on here? Is there any sort of uh, like parts of constructs laying around? Uh, yeah, actually, in the northwest alcove, you see a an armless and legless doll of a goblin. Oh, this, oh God. This, this stuff. Um, okay. So is this okay. where Mr. Beak was made, probably? Oh, my God. I d <laughs> um, oh, I have so many gift ideas. <laughs> Actually, so hold I, on, I wait. the... Okay. This is the wrong music for this. Here. Okay. So I, I inspect the doll. Um, I kind of pick it up. Okay. It it's a it's a doll of a goblin, and you notice there's a small indentation in its back. Oh, like a, is there a cord I can pull? the indentation the little ring for my finger um I put my finger in the indentation will will everybody just give me a recall knowledge check I don't know how to do that Is just that don't target way? anybody and then use basic action macros did I do it right Yes. Um, Victor, you remember that you guys pulled a gem out of the back of Mr. Beak. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Do we have it still? I don't remember you guys saying you did anything with it. Uh, 
I think I might have it. Hold on. It's not the fear gem. I believe I got that as a loot somewhere. Soul gem. I've got the soul gem. Uh, put it in. <laughs> I think uh, there's yeah. probably more to it than that. Oops. But... Public. Sorry. There we go. I, uh... I hand it over to you. What, what, do, what do I know about this? Do I know, I mean, do I know anything about this sort of ritual to make me think it would be a good, bad, or neutral idea to ram this thing back in the goblin? You don't really know. You don't have any ex experience with this. I put it in, the, I lay the goblin uh, torso kind of face down on the pavement or the slab there, stone. And then I look at the gym and I kind of force it into the slot. Okay. Uh, the gym fits exactly into the back of um, of the goblin doll. Uh, and all of a sudden, it starts sobbing uncontrollably. Oh my god, I, I clap. It's working. The, the, the goblin is just weeping. Like... <laughs> Uh, uh, I sort of back away. It's getting weird. But it worked, guys. <laughs> I, I <get> it. <laughs> Ron is gonna. Uh, you uh, you okay there, buddy? What's uh, what's going on? He is just sitting there, like. <laughs> God, just you, take we, it back down. Just take it back say, down. You, when you say sitting, I, I act like I'm going to correct something and then don't. <laughs> uh, he does have uh, no arms or legs, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> oh. I I look at Braun trying to determine what range of emotions is filling Braun right now. Braun just kind of shrugs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so is it was it responding at all to bronze? To, uh, it it is question? it is weeping. Trick, Trick is the father here, so he's gonna scoop him up and rock him. So oh. it's okay, little guy. That's kind of sweet. All right, <laughs> a little bit. Hey, look at that! He sits there and he and he, and he calms down. And there you uh, go, little guy. Oh, wait, I, I give him, I give him my little pink ball. It is mouth down the well. <laughs> well no, I, 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 you're right. I'm so sorry. I, I take it out. I feel like I'm going to give the toy. Then I realize, like, ooh, faux pas. Like, no arms. I slowly put it away. Um, he he kind of he kind of rocks there for a second, and he's just not. He stops crying, but he's not saying anything. So, well, that. that's still an improvement. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, I like, you know, I ask, it's like, hey, what's your name? How you, it's like, is there any sign of intelligence or is he just catatonic? Um, this is hard to read. He kind of goes, Borbo. My name is Borbo. Borbo, aw. So, what, what's wrong, Borbo? He goes, um... I'm, I'm gonna guess that's Borbo in the tank there. Uh... Borbo goes, uh... Borbo no, no, doesn't know what's going on. I was waiting as... as for, for Master Astrone and and remembers fighting you. Oh shit! <laughs> it, it's Mr. Beak. What, what oh is, yeah. <laughs> why Borbo? I guess it's maybe an inherited or interesting. Uh, I guess that does make sense. Man, we can quote so hard right now. I don't <laughs> want while this is going on, I'm kind of rummaging through the other alcoves looking for another gem. I think. 
Um, it, 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 um, hold on a second. This is going to be a good chance to interrogate Mr. Beak, though. Yeah, definitely. He just he just needed some. You were right, John. He just needed some love. If, um, <laughs> you don't you don't find anything in the other in the other alcoves of note. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna ask. Uh, so, so tell us about your master. Maybe we can help you or get you reunited. Or he goes, Master Astrone was a powerful mastermind. He was a drow, but he was a craftsman. He was an artist. Ask for more description. Huh? Did he? He do, did. They do the paintings that were. Uh, <laughs> he goes where you were. He goes. I no no paint paintings. No, him not. He's not painter. Not a painter. He. He uh, makes things. Oh, like like you. No, Bor Borbo, Borbo was real. This body, this body he made. Ah. So what was Borbo before? Borbo was a goblin. Borbo served ah. Master Astrone. Borbo, Borbo lived here. Worked in this fairy laboratory. What what kind of stuff did you do? Oh, help Master Astrone with his experiments. Help with his creations. Clean. Wipe things down. Clean. Clean up messes. Mop floors. Straightened books. Clean. Did you do any cleaning? I <laughs> Borbo cleaned a lot of things. This room is a mess. Did you clean uh, the floors? Or I know a bit. He goes. I cleaned. I cleaned the floors. I cleaned the tables. I cleaned the walls. Ask where Master is. Where's Master now? Where did Master go? Um, i not sure. I, I've waited for him for a long time. Long, very long time. Did, did they say where they were going or what they were doing? They? Was Mistress Belcora here? Maybe. That's what we're trying to find out, I guess. She's very frightening and absolutely none of Barbo's business. So, Pranda's gonna, like, kind of lean over the group, like, he, uh, she died, like, 500 years ago, didn't she, guys? Like, isn't that the, the keeper of the this tower? Yeah, isn't... I mean, uh, yeah, but, mm -hmm. like, I don't... What? I could allow the possibility that she's not dead, but that was, that was, like, hundreds of years ago right yes she uh, she um she was so the founders festivals that you guys just went to was the 480th anniversary of the founding of atari and atari was founded right after they killed belcora so we're taking it on face value that she was killed but obviously there's a variety of other options Mm -hmm. I think I think it's safe to say she was at least temporarily distracted. Yeah, but what what were uh, your master and Bellatora working on? Do you know? Um, he goes, uh, master, master was was that we created things for her. She's she she was with the books, but but. The, the 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 master master was cruel but but made such beautiful things how was he cruel um just by making you do 
work? Oh, oh yes, yes. D work, work all the time and then turned into this. Into this. He wiggles his little limbs. Well, hey, we uh, might can get you uh, situated with something. Your other body I, was pretty, pretty great, but uh, yeah. it no longer exists. To I, sorry to say, because you uh, tried to kill us in it. Re remember that when I came in and tried to be friends with you? Was trying to was protecting the the, the place. There were the the, the, the telescope. The, everything was for was for protect was afraid, was afraid to not do what I needed to do. So I remember Mr. B pretty well. Um, and so I'm, I'm also going through the shelves and whatnot here, just kind of looking for materials that I think were re like maybe some fabric that was his cloak or something that resembled the beak, like anything that a person might use for a hobby project that resembled parts of Mr. Beak, like dowels. Can I find anything in here? That um, I mean, it's the, the that? things that are here w definitely could have been used to make Mr. Beak's body. Definitely. So, so as crafting, I just think it would be a fun party project if we rebuilt him now that we know that we can reanimate him. And, you know, we have like a friend. I like this yeah. cute little gobbo body. I think I, we should. I think we should give him some arms and legs. I don't see all. Can I look around to see if I find any other bodies or arms and legs and stuff to I point mean, out that maybe we can use the zim zum? You, you mean other than the the goblin floating in the water? I don't want to use. I've like. Know, that's an idea. How long do we? No, there's probably some problems with that. <laughs> yeah, so I guess the body's not <laughs> degrading we... at all. Yeah, and he hasn't seen it yet. Yeah, I've, the, I've we don't. I've been holding his back to it. <laughs> yeah, I figured since you were at that angle, he couldn't quite catch that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, can we rummage? Hey, you know what? We're here. I think I don't know how long this is going to last, but for now, can I rummage around some sticks and? rope uh, to attempt to craft a pair of unarticulated legs. Um, <laughs> you don't, th this, this would require knowledge that you do not have. Okay. Oh, well, I was suggesting I was going to do it well. Yeah. Um, Okay, that's fine. Well, I don't think you can just nail planks onto his stubs and have them function like legs. I don't think that's how construct yeah. stuff works. Yeah. I see. All right. Well, what do we. What's this door by? Um, yeah, I, I was wow. about to ask uh, Borvo. Hold him for a second. Let's. Yeah, I'll ask, ask him what that. What are you I asking about? This door. What's this door over here? He goes, oh, that that goes to Borbo's room and the other pieces of the laboratory. Oh, uh, let's go check out your room then, huh? He goes, Borbo, Borbo ne doesn't need anything there. You can have the things he had. Okay, cool. Let's check it out. It's locked. Is locked. It is indeed. Uh, does Borbo have a key or? <laughs> um. No, I ask Borbo. It's like, did you have a key or? Hold on, just one second. I actually have a question here. I'm looking at something. Okay. It's not expecting this reunion. <laughs> I am. You guys actually found this key. Huh. You have that. Hold on. You yeah. got this in the in the in the storage upstairs. 
Right, do it. Okay. Uh, put it in the lock. I'm, I, get, I can just keep okay. Barbo facing away from... The door is Barbo unlocked Barbo. using one of the keys that you guys had. And there is a stair... There is a hallway. And then you see these stairs up and you recognize them. Let's go to the other... You guys came down these stairs on the on the island that you guys went to. Oh, the, these were the actual ones in the shack. Okay. Yes. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, nice. Filling out my map. And I think Borbo said this is more laboratory at the next door here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's keep going. Okay. Yes, this is Borbo's room. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, controlling her and doing this is kind of weird. Um, this room shares uh, shares features of both a bedroom and a study, although the do- the decor is devoid of any personal items of sentimental value. Um. Ask Borbo if there's anything in here we might think is useful. He goes, this was Master Volok's room. I, I I don't recognize it anymore. Yeah, it's Master probably Volk. been a while. Who is Master Volok? Master Volok was his his master. Oh, I thought you said it's, Astrid, well, his, his, that their, that's his, Volk, his name that's is Volok Astrone. Gotcha, gotcha. Volok Astrone, okay. Say we uh, poke around a little. Um, you find a piece of paper with like some strings of words on it. What the worm knows, grave feats, secrets of the skull, and at the bottom it says transcription will take months, but I'll try to have these books back to you as soon as possible, my love. What the worm knows. Yep. Here, I will put these in a note. Hold on just one second. Hey, Borbo. Do you know anything about the fucking worm? Um. Hold on just a second. Okay, I've given you guys a page called Volok Note in your um, in your journal. Um, Borbo goes, Master was was fascinated with 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 objects and creatures, and 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 putting souls into those things. Bobo, Bobo volunteered to live forever. Oh, the worm. Is there, I guess there's no chance of knowing what the worm would be referring to. I'm gonna guess that's a book title. Could it be the purple worm? So the books on this list, uh, were they in your room? Borbo? Borbo does not know those books. Borbo does not okay. know those books. Okay. Well, Borbo, that, gonna... the door, that door over, and he's wiggling. He's like, uh, <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Uh, uh, yeah. That, that door over there, and he kind of moves his head, goes to Borbo's room. And it's the okay. one to the north. This small room has a long abandoned straw bed 
a dresser with open <laughs> drawers revealing a jumble of out-of-date out servants' clothing, and a large barrel with a ladle on top of it. Um, you notice that the clothing matches the clothing of the goblin in the tank. Mm. Huh. What was the barrel for? Um, is that your poop barrel? He goes, Bobo Bobo liked pickles, but it had pickles. Oh. Hmm. Um, but Bor Borbo kind of nudges, but over bed. L look at brick. Look at brick over bed. Okay, I do so. There is a tiny hidden space with some hmm. things in it. Ooh. What's in it? Oh, an armor charm. Ooh. You want to go ahead and give us rolls so I don't be able to fiddle with that charm? Sure. You're going to take some time out to do that? I think so. Borbo's not yeah. like. So I'll ask Borbo. It's like, hey, wh what is that? Is that just a shiny you liked, or? Uh, he goes. Um, he goes. Borbo, Borbo had a magic charm for his armor. Um, oh. It. Uh, it was supposed to help if Borbo ever needed needed to climb. Up things. <laughs> I'll take that. Or get out Neat. of things. Neat. Does anyone I'll else wish you... to do one of those rolls? What? Would it let you uh, climb around like a spider? He goes, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, <laughs> no, no. Nothing like that. Poor, poor Bo yeah. not get fancy magic. Poor Bo get... Bobo get little magic. Ah. Um. If we all fail, we do it tomorrow. It's one like a daily lockout. Yeah. Uh, you figure out what it is, Kupiri. Believe it or not. I do not believe it. This is okay. not Kupiri's thing. What, yeah. What is it? You recognize that it is a um, that it is a slick charm. Uh, designed uh, to give a bonus on a I, I, I said it wrong. I thought it was for ac for athletics. It's for acrobatics when you escape and squeeze. It was. It's it's to get you out of things. Mm. I would have loved to have that if nobody minds. No, take it. Go for it. If, I don't know how to use it. But... The way these charms work is they are one time things. One time is better than no time. Isn't okay, that what this so is? This is a. I don't. I don't. I'm sitting here looking at this, trying to figure out what this actually is. Yeah. Property. Oh no, no. I think this yeah, might be right. forever. Because at yeah, 45 gold, that's thing. not a one-use thing. This is forever. Could be a yeah. property. Room. Is it like a room? Yeah. 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 It's a. Uh, yeah, it's a property room. Uh, neat. It's, it is indeed. Yeah. So you have to have a somebody. Transcribe, transfer it onto the armor. It's just a crafting check. Yeah, and Rin, Rin, you know Rin can do that. Yeah. Okay. I, I can probably. I mean, I, you don't need any kind of things besides base crafting to transfer. Runes. Yeah. So I forget how long it takes, but I can do it too. Well, does anybody mind if I grab this just so that I have no, it? grab it, go for it. it. Okay. And I ask Borbo. So what's this? Uh, what's the statue? It's a. Uh, he goes. Two um, very naked looking ladies. He goes, uh, Bobo thought they were pretty, and he took it. He took it. Mm. <laughs> did not did tell anyone. Hit it. <laughs> I don't know. We found Borbo's porn sash. <laughs> nice. <Yes. laughs> well, I think these two ladies are just dandy, so Ageless. we'll make sure they're safe. Unlike your safe in a somewhere to sell. <laughs> well, thanks for uh, letting us look at your place, Borbo. I appreciate it. He yeah. goes, he goes, 
Poor Bo, poor Bo does not need this anymore. Poor Bo, poor Bo does not need this anymore. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do we, what's this next door? I'm not sure uh, about, uh, I really wanted Borbo to be a forever thing, but he's kind of a buzzkill. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is obvious to you that Barbo <laughs> no longer wishes to exist. <laughs> uh, I, I asked Borbo if he's ready to sleep. Borbo, wait, 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 Borbo, wait. please, please let Borbo go. <laughs> Please, please. Okay, let. I, I put the puppet, the we can body always... down on the bed, and then I take the gym back out. Okay. And I give him a little kiss on the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep well, Borbo. Um, there is another door here. Did we? Uh. Yeah. Oh, just wake it back up. I'll say that's what I will. Great, I will say oh. this to you, by the way. Um, Borbo is still in that gem. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah I was gonna suggest we just leave I... him right here mm -hmm. by his body, just in case a future I... entry party. Oh, we can comes along. Along. <laughs> keep a, keep a hold of it. I feel like the gem is a very nice place. I, in my head, do I? Would I know like what his existence would be like in the soul gem? Does time actually pass? Um, you have no idea what that kind of horror must be like. Hmm. Well, Craig's Dude. holding the jam. He has, he's like one tear going down his eye. It's like, well, just should we, it. should we destroy it? Well, I just, I don't read any, anything into this. What's the value of the gem? <laughs> 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 five gold so, pieces my question is uh zimzum and uh our druid yeah do you two think you could uh decipher any of the books and put his soul back into his watery oh, body over there sure i don't know how soggy it looks it's buddy. only been there for like 500 years i'm sure it's still good to go I that like sounds that like a far hard beyond our, yeah, far beyond <laughs> our uh, knowledge, I would think. But, I think your uh, third level characters would totally have hard. this under control. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could try. I've never seen any movies that lead me to believe that could go horribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't... Uh, no, we could probably... Calliope, Calliope has never heard of such horror and is opposed to the concept of it as a druid. You would need to probably yes. Seek moving help on out. to the moving on to your next existence is part of nature. Mm. Well, yeah, Trick wants to destroy it, so I he's asked, going I, to. I, I briefly commune with Scoot about it and ask if. I really have no idea what Scoot is. I have no idea what Scoot is, uh, frankly. I just ask if Scoot thinks I should break the gem. Um, or does Scoot have an opinion? Scoot says, Scoot says, um, the dead, the dead gnome is of no consequence. I mean, the dead goblin is of no consequence. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna put it on the gem on the table and take a sword hill and just crush it up. Okay. So you take the gem and you put it on the table and you're smashing it with your pommel. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> the gem shatters, and instantly you are pulled out of this reality. Okay. And you feel something powerful and welcoming whisper to you that you have done well and you get a tiny you get a vision of the future and you feel as if phrasma 
the goddess that escorts um like dead creatures to their afterlife um has given you a favor <laughs> lucky mousy <laughs> do you see it on your character what is it Mm. Yeah. Okay. This is a plus two <laughs> status it? bonus that you can add to any check, and you may do it after you have you have uh, rolled the result and checked mm. whether you succeeded. And you have a month to use it. Gotcha. You did a good thing. Yeah. That poor poor thing <laughs> at least he didn't have to know the horrors that were given to his Mr. Beak body on Bron's behalf later on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he didn't oh know. I forgot all about that he did not know he did not end up having to know how three of his bodies were defiled he only had to know about the one <laughs> that his arms and legs were cut off <laughs> Well, there's always a silver lining. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, this well, is a nice little unex unexpected jaunt. We have yeah, that one. was that was. Yeah, yeah. The trick yeah. is now like more openly crying. It's like, uh, Ron, so open that fucking door, please. <laughs> <laughs> Ron does. Okay. Um. Hold on. Uh, a large metal, metal table fitted with leather straps and iron bands sit in the center of this room. A strange contraption that seems to be part spyglass and part mechanical drill sits at the head of the table. A sparkling black gemstone glitters in the metal framework built into the machine's side. A wide array of smaller bones litter the floor of the room. Skulls and femurs of vaguely humanoid creatures are surprisingly varied among the remains. Amid the bones, a curious discarded cylinder of desiccated flesh lies on the floor beside the metal table. So it's like for coring people, basically? Is that what we, that what we think? Or... Mm, I bet this is what he was making the soul gem out of. Suddenly, the log of desiccated flesh begins to move. Of course it does. Everyone, <laughs> activate your initiative button. Uh. It's only a log. I've been wrong. Crap. Oh, wow. That's dramatic. Maybe a little more dramatic than I thought it was going to be. It's okay for a log. Okay. Um. It's log. It's log. I'll get the log. What? Wait. Uh, oh, I got to roll for... Sorry. Ignore my no. Whatever. That is kind of a log. Wait, where did it go? I lost Where yeah. I lost the actual thing. Uh, Am I oh there it is. There we go. Wait, Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So I like how I like we go like right from a nice look. Let's not make with this... a soul and then a goddess <laughs> and then we're back to the flesh. Let's, let's, let's not make a mistake this time. Let's talk to it first. <laughs> So, 
You are first, Zydeco. So, um, it's, it, it's basically sitting on top of the table there? No, it's actually over here. Oh, it's like right by me, kind yes. of rolling around? Yes. And, and it's like a leech, basically? It, it, it looks, like, like, a tu- it looks like a tube of long, dead flesh that suddenly lifts itself up, and you see teeth on the end of it. So it's the Dune 2 uh, popcorn bucket? Yes, that is exactly what it is. <laughs> um, I doubt I can trip that thing. It doesn't look like something I can trip. I'm going to... Who's up, uh, uh, Ox? I'm uh, going to delay. Okay. Go at least one round. Let Trick <coughs> act on it first. Okay. Trick, it is your turn. What would you like to do? So uh, I have surprise attack. I finally get to use it because I rolled better. Um, hey, yeah. He, he is off guard. He is off guard. Can you use surprise make... attack on a ranged attack? I would imagine. It's, it's off guard to me. It's, okay. Okay. It's not, it's not an actual action. It's just a. Fear. Right. Okay. So I'm going to make it a, my hunted prey, and then I'm going to quick, or I forget what it's called, my two shot. I did not target him. Give me a re-roll that, since I don't know what that was. That absolutely hits. Okay. You do some damage. Let me change that. You hit again. Ray. <laughs> I need to do Runic Weapon on your bow because it doesn't have a dime adder yet. That's what I need to do in the future. Mm. Okay. And uh, I have that was two actions, so I'll go ahead and. Hey, you hit again! Nice. Okay. You have done uh, some damage. I will point out, you don't think you did much. I was going to say, it still says perfectly fine. Um, so I'm going to recall knowledge on it. No, like, what does this thing like? Will you weak to? Like a damage type? Uh, I'm just going to do a generic recall. No, I'm jumping in for initiative now. So Okay, so we're going to put knowledge. you down at 21 and move Trick to 22. Okay, I have updated the initiative order. Yeah, I did a recall knowledge, uh, looking to see if I can figure out what it might be a weakness of it, a weak damage type it might be weak to. Um. Well, no, I'm trying to see, I'm asking if it has a weakness. You're asking if you think it has any weaknesses. You've never seen anything like this. It, it, there is no, and you rolled pretty well. You haven't ever heard of anything like this. So I get no info. No info. And I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys, this is a unique creature. There is only one of them, and you are now fighting it. But does it have a name? Um, <laughs> it 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 does not. It does I not. I bet we could just uh, go back out the door we came in. Um, but there's it, another door here. Oh yes. God. Um, I'm gonna sit, so I am going to step back. Uh, you know what? I bet that thing. Goes oh wait, I I didn't let you finish your turn. I'm sorry about that. So I did my recall knowledge. I think your microphone uh, is up a little something. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Better. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. I did my recall knowledge. I'm actually chancing that it has no reactions. Um, Scoot is staying in the space here. Okay. Uh, well, come on, Scoot. Get off. Uh, 5, 10, 15. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I would say it has. There. I would say it has. A lesser cover from the table. Yeah, I won't be attacking it. Uh, I'm gonna okay. instead nudge fate on. Uh, 
to Fury. Okay. Bronze also going to. Let's just do Bronze. So I'm nudging Fate on Bronze. Uh, and by casting a Hex that lets Scoot's special ability activate, which is that um, one creature within 15 feet of your familiar gets a plus one status bonus to AC or a minus one to its AC until the start of your next turn. So I'm giving the, the weird thing a minus one to AC okay. as weird shapes form on Scoot. You're and I've Froman. nudged Fate on Brawl. Right. I made Froman. The Sausage, the sausage King, King of Chicago. Yo, guy, thank you for the raid. Come on in, everybody. Okay, so you've you've given the Blood Siphon a minus one to its AC. Correct. Through Scoot's uh, fantastic patterns. Okay. The Blood Siphon? Yes, that's what's, yeah. what it's called. Uh, that's so, his name. So we're going to... So he gets a will save, correct? Uh, I... Don't actually, I'll tell you that in two seconds. That's what I'm seeing that, here in there, the chat. Is, nudge yeah. fate. Well, no, that's for, that's for a nudge fate. I've cast that on Bronn. So oh, Bronn okay. is, not, is not resisting it. Okay. The familiar ability I can probably put in chat is that. There's okay. No uh, okay. Let me see if I can drag it onto him. I don't think, I don't, I don't think it's fully automated. Let me see. Balanced luck. Effect. Did you find it? Minus one. There we go. Good. Cool. Hooray. Okay. So you have taken the blood siphon and you have put, you have cursed it with your, with your little friend. Indeed. And is that the end of your turn? Yeah. And I, and I nudge fate on bronze. So okay. Bronze has a pre- Plus one to a roll. So the blood sure. siphon turns towards Kupiri, who is right next to it. Where's the best? Howdy, blood siphon. How you doing? Take your hat. He thrusts his open maw at your body. God, man. Story of my life. And critically misses. And that's <laughs> the right. end of its turn. Kupiri, what Maybe. would you like to do? Uh, Kupiri Wait. is more freaked out by that attack <laughs> and so he's going to uh, shoot it in the place where it feels like it should have eyes I don't know <laughs> nope never mind okay that shot misses and do a reloading strike and that and I will... misses back up here but I'm done okay it is now Bronn's turn all right Bronn is going to do and I made the mistake of leaving a bag of Cheez-Its next to my computer. <laughs> you miffed? Oh, I'm going to use a hero point to re-roll that. Okay. Uh, Don't forget, if you miss by one... Oh, you did miss by one. Oh, oh you can just hit it then, yep. <laughs> okay, then I guess I'll hit. Okay. You do 12 points of damage to it. Hooray. Oops. All right. Uh, Actually, wait, no. Please notice. Oh. Ooh, what kind of damage type was that? Fire. I guess it makes sense. And then, and probably slash okay. whatever it was. Calliope's turn. Okay. Um, Calliope will, um, Calliope targets it <laughs> and casts Briny Bolt. Okay. 
she hurls salt water from her extended hand Ooh, and nice. hits it. And it takes damage and is blinded. That's very useful. I wonder how something without eyes can be blinded, but we're just going to let it, it go. Need, uh, yeah, it probably, you could rule it to be immune to it. It's up to you. You do have to see. Um, let me see. Depend on what. Oh, yeah, it is immune to it is immune to uh, visual effects. Okay. Uh, and that's her turn. And it is now Trick's turn. So. Do, 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 do. Have this. Oh, <laughs> nice. So it doesn't do like a, does it do like an area of effect fireball? I, I can't feel like I'm on board with what you're doing. Uh, I mean, that's a fireball. <laughs> like with all the things that come with fireballs. Okay. So it is like a whatever crazy radius. Yeah. Let me, I'll look this up. I'm going to assume that you were smart enough to look in the book for this. It's a, um, it's a 20 foot burst. Yeah, that's the entire room. <laughs> I look at it and then I put it back down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. even, even the enemy is like, wait, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> It couldn't see before, but it sees yeah, that. Right. <laughs> Slunk off. Use slash attack. <laughs> there you go. So, Slunk off. Slunk off the cat. Gonna come out. Gonna use cat powers. Cat powers! Look at how cute Slunk off is, people. There's, there's, there's Slunk off right there. Yeah. I like his little vest. So, is the stride a full movement? Yes. Yep. Uh, the okay. middle thing is going to be difficult terrain. Climbing over the machine will be difficult terrain. Okay, that's that should be good. That, yeah. What's Slunkoff's movement? 35? Yeah, uh, no, that'll be 35, fine. 35, yeah. Yeah. And then strike. I can't believe you're ordering a cat to attack this thing. That cracks me up. That's a miss. Yeah. That was only one action, though. No, a stride well, and stride and then. Oh, no, that well, was. You did the pounce. Yeah. Okay. No, that. The pounce was. Yeah, yeah. So Slugoth has one more action. Yes. He's gonna. See, I think how it's made to play is you do that and then you run away. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it should be. Yeah. I, I don't think you would want Slug off next to that thing. Slug yeah. off can, can tank. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so that was two of Trick's actions, so I'm still got a shot. Okay. So I will take that. No, it should only be one of Trick's actions. No, yeah, I, well, boss and an animal is you. Command, you're right. No, yeah, what you get, he gets two actions for one. So you spin one, he gets two. Yeah. So. You, oh, is that right? Yes. Oh, okay. So you still have for, two for actions. A, for a companion, yeah. yeah. Not for a regular command animal, but for animal companion. That's right. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Cool, cool. Well, I'll uh, do my two shot here. Oh no! All the raiders went away. <laughs> they were here for a little while. Um. Okay. You hit. One. Yay. I thought they automated the familiar about slug. That's good. And then I'll do my third shot. Just why not? Critical Ooh. miss. The end. Okay. Applying the damage from that from that shot. There we go. Uh, I'm afraid it, we're going to get our butts handed to us by this very aggressive neck. I think it's going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I shouldn't have stepped so far out of the room. I, uh... Now I have to waste an action, but I do need to slink back in there because I can't. Braun is going to be immune to nudging fate now. 
Uh, but I do want to keep its AC debuff on. I think that's the smart thing. So, uh... Just for future effort. The cool thing about Slunkoth is if he hits, it, the creature's off guard. Oh, nice! Oh, nice. Yeah, that was really nice. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna face both of them. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm yeah. not going to use it here for anything yep. else tonight. We're going to do that. There you go. That's a hit. Okay. Nice. You do nine points of damage to it. I can't see anybody else to nudge fate on. Uh, but Calliope might do an attack roll. I'm gonna nudge fate in her. I mean, there's no really another option, so we'll do okay. That. She is nudged. And that sustained the familiar. That sustained the debuff on the worm because I cast the hex. Right. Right. So. Okay. The blood siphon glares at. Brawn with its invisible eyeballs and then dives at him with this gaping toothy maw and misses. <laughs> I like it. I'm here for it. It does it again. Stop it. And it oh. hits. Brond takes 19 oh, points of damage. Wow. wow, what a mouth. And then it grabs him. Good talk. Are you doing new grab or old grab? I did whatever I is under... I don't know, honestly don't know what Foundry has, which, which is doing yet. Yeah. Uh, Maybe they make you make a roll, it's old grab. Hold on, okay. let me double check. I might have done that wrong. Let me well, see. I mean, it's not the the upcoming monster core changes grab, but some stuff's been implemented, so I'm not sure. Like the old grab auto grab, like like grab effects for monsters. Like if they may successfully hit, they were grabbed. Yes. There's so like that's, what that's, yeah. what yeah. okay. that's what I did. That's what I did. Okay. But that's the end of its turn. So it's Kupiri's turn now. Okay. Kupiri's Guess what the blood siphon in. is going to do now that it's grabbed you? Um, oh, siphon you. a little blood. Uh huh. Give me a hickey. It's going to go unk, 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 unk. I think we're learning the secrets of the worm, finally. I am going to shoot it, but not too close to where it has grabbed me. Okay. That's a good plan. Okay, that is a critical hit. You do 25 points of damage to it. Woo! Um, and then I need to reload, so uh, I will hit it. Um, it is off balance to this attack. Okay. Oh that is God. another <laughs> critical hit. Oh my God. So it takes double that? No, that that is double. Okay. You slice into it. Um, hold on just one second. Are short swords been um versatile? Yes. They that should be clear. Yeah. There should be if they are, there's a button on your sheet. Like yeah. You take the damage type. Yeah, yeah like my smart play does. So you probably want to do slashing against it, right? Is your is your short sword versatile S? Hold on. I'm, what, what it? Short sword. It is versatile S. Yes. Yeah. Okay. How so would it, I change it? Um, oh, there. Right there. Okay. Yeah. So I changed it. And then... Well, I just am going to add five more points because you use okay. slashing damage to it. 
that does the worm think about rules for a second and then die? No, it does not. Okay. <laughs> but that was two devastating attacks, and you can attack again. No, that was three. I oh, because you moved. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Bron, what are you going to do? You've got this thing attached to your body. Um, can I still attack it? Yes. No, uh, grab. Da, 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 you are da, da, da. off guard and immobilized, I am however. Off guard. And if you try Ooh. to do any kind of a manipulate action, you got to do a flat check. All right. Uh, that's a DC 5 flat check, though. But attacking is not manipulate. So yep. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to attack it. Okay. See if I can kill it, because that'll get it the fuck off me. Actually, you know what? I'm going to stoke the flames. There you go. And then strike it. I hope. That doesn't uh, no. work. Oh, however, I can now use my hero point since I didn't use it before. I used Nudge Fate. That's true. Oh, no! Hooray. <laughs> Did you All only right, have that's... one hero point? Oh. Yeah, we, we just got that one at the beginning, right? Yep, yep. Yeah, so, okay. I mean, I, I, I had one at the beginning, but I didn't yeah. add another one. Was I supposed to? No. Should have okay. only gotten the then one. that's it for me. Okay. Calliope looks at her spell list. What's that one? Uh, what's that one? Uh, actually, what she's going to do is she's going to heal you. That seems like a good idea. And you get 22 hit points back. Nice. And then she grins and the corner of her mouth gleams like an anime. It is now Trick's turn. Okay, I'm going to have Slunk off. He's going to jump on top of the table, I guess. Okay. And he can't do his pounce twice in a row. Oh, he can. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's what I meant to do. Yeah. That's going to hit. Why did it miss? I want, I really want the cat to, to slunk off to pull this off. He should. Oh, it expired. It only lasts for a little while. Oh, so he had 21. Wait, no, no, no. Does the, no, you're keeping the hex going, right? The hex is still running. Okay. So then you hit. It with my, yeah. You hit. Okay. Oh, I didn't. We didn't reapply it. It would right. have. I used. I used right. a nudge bait again, so it kept it up. Slunkoth grabs <laughs> the blood siphon and shakes it, and it flops over dead. Good job, Slunkoth. Good job, you did it. Uh -huh. So that's that's interesting. Is this the worm from the Secrets of the Worm? Is this the thing is somehow involved in? Doing whatever was going on in here. So we I think it was probably just some horror. I think left it's over. I think it's it looks it was. So we look at this machine. Is there anything we can tell about? Was it boring into people or bones to make depressions for gems, or was it? Is it completely inscrutable how this was operated? Um. Bink, bink. Oh, blind, sorry. You guys do not know what this does. Um, trick, you think it is used for um, filling cakes with cream. <laughs> Kupiri, you think 
It's a sex toy. That tracks. Uh, Kapiri rolled the nat 20, I guess. Um, <laughs> yes. Hold on, I'll do this with Calliope. Calliope does not know what it is. Brond, you think it's kind of like a jack in the box, but for like blood worms. In other words, three of you critically failed this role. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You guys Mad have skills. As a group, you have no idea what this device does. Does it have any handles or. Um, I'll describe dials. it again. It's a long metal table fitted with leather straps and iron bands. It sits at the center of the room. The strange contraption seems to be part spyglass and part mechanical drill. Uh, pardon me. A strange contraption that seems to be part spyglass and part mechanical drill sits near the head of the table. The sparkling, A sparkling black gemstone glitters in the metal framework built into this machine's side. I want to take that gem? Oh yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we for sure should take the gem. Are you sure you, it, 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 you don't know where it's the, at? It's is the um, yeah. is it magic? <laughs> is this, do I detect magic in the room? You do that... not detect magic in the room. I think that it's a gem. Did I force open to get it out? You crack it open, and I've put it in your inventory. So it's Ooh. a shame that we had to free somebody's soul. Can't ask questions about. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. It's fine. I guess. <laughs> I think if we would have heard what he had to say about this room, we might not have uh, felt as sympathetic. <laughs> so, yes, this is where I strapped them down. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, it, he probably was strapped uh, down here, yeah. too. Yeah. Of his own free will. Let's move on. Oh, God. <laughs> I am oh, going to... Yeah. I've got to go shortly. So. Okay. Yep. We'll we'll finish up in about five, ten minutes. Okay. All right. So does that mean we should open the door? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Give uh, us meta... We have to have meta information. Oh, it's more... It stares down. Ooh. Okay. Let me find where those stairs go. Okay. And now I got to move all your little tokens from where you were over here. Um. Okay, I have put you on the stairs where you are now. Um, streaks of blood stain these stairs at various intervals. Along the bend of the stairwell, mud and other substances have been smeared on the wall to form symbols and pictograms of dubious intent. A small humanoid skeleton has been deliberately laid out on the floor of the landing, its hand positioned to point up the stairwell. Uh, how old did the blood look? The blood and mud, is it like 500 years old or is it two weeks, two hours? Um, it's old, it's old. Um, I put a perception check in the chat. Uh, Victor, you think the messages appear to be read by creatures coming from the bottom of the stairs. The, the, the messages that are written there. Um, 
Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to give two more checks here. Um, For everybody or just him? No, everybody can read this. Okay. Everybody can do this. Uh, uh, everybody fails that. Hold on, hold on. I got one to go for society. I'm pretty good at okay. society. Uh, let me get Wendy to do it. Oops. Yeah. That. Uh, Wendy doesn't know that, and then, um. I'm going to go ahead and say you guys recognize that this corpse that's been laid out here is a Morlock. Mm -hmm. They're there. This is their own little don't go up there. That's what you would suspect. Yeah. Why do you think they shouldn't go up there? They get up. ground up. <laughs> How do you think a Morlock would do against a Blood Siphon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you remember all the bones that were around the edge of the room? Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, well, why don't we call it a night there? Does that sound good? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, 